What's good, Marlon? You come in May, you know we live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, good evening, good night, Eagle. Good morning, good evening, good night, Eagle May family. Here. While we're waiting for fucking people, right? <laughs> Just waiting for some MFers. <sighs> Gotta stunt on some fools. Oh, I gotta fucking mute this. Yeah. Just waiting for. I'll just play like one or fucking two. Just waiting for some people to get in here. <sighs> Fuck, dude. It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit since I fucking. I haven't used OBS in a bit too. I'm using OBS for the stream. What's good, uh what's good Kingsy191? What's good, bro? It's been a fucking ten fucking years, dude. Shite. Go look what you think uh, about this unprecedented title shit from Mercy. Dude, it's the stupidest shit ever. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm a flyweight enjoyer. I am the biggest fanboy of flyweight. I will big up Flyway every single chance I get. Why is Airsay getting a title shot? He beat Matt Schnell. Dude? Does, does Suma Dwerji deserve a title eliminator? Like, Matt Schnell is not a good win. Dude. Matt Schnell is a fun fighter, but he's, uh, he's on like a four fight knockout loss streak at Flyweight. Dude, he's not good. Like, he's not good. He's fun, but he's not fucking good at all. It's the stupidest shit. Just wait, dude. Just wait. Give him Brandon Royval again. Give him fucking... Dude, even give him... Dude, I hate Amir Albazi. I am Amir Albazi's biggest op. I'm his biggest hater. Give him Amir Albazi, dude. Airseg? What? Beat some... Who did... I don't even know who his last win was other than Matt Schnell. Who else did he beat other than fucking Matt Schnell? So it's stupid. We will need the most. He go to see the stay the night. I know, dude, it's, uh, the fucking, dude, the next, like, three weeks are dead. It's, it's I think, two female fucking main events. Nami Yunus versus, um, I don't even know, I don't even know what they are, dude. I don't even know what the fucking next fucking female main events are. But I know there's two of them. And it's Tuivasa versus fucking Taibura. Why is Taibura a headliner? What? I'm sorry. When did Taibura become a headliner? <laughs> when did Tybura become a UFC headliner? Makes no fucking sense. Well, let's go, Gracia, anyway. L uh, lower the game volume? Yeah, yeah. Fucking get it down to there. Yeah, that should be good, right? Should be fucking... Right... There. Alright. I'll hit that in a second, right? Some people, what's good? Oh, I'm not good. Some people, can you explain to all the these betas why it's so based to have a gun pulled out on uh, on your forehead in front of a hot chick? Uh, it shows... <laughs> um, it shows that you have bravery, and if you didn't cower like a little weenie, it shows you're like a real man. So it's actually, it's actually, it shows that you've also, that you've prepared yourself for those situations. Um, and that you're not a beta male, basically is what it means. Right? I don't fucking know. What's good, Omnogger? What's good, Marlon Kingsy? What's good, Western Mass Climber? Gray shit 108. Fuck Mokayev. I'm happy Airsight got a saddle shot. Yeah, Mokayev deserves it more, dude. Mokayev just, I mean, Alex Perez, dude, he also fucking sucks. But like, give it to him, bro. Like, what the fuck? Is Mavka's live? Yo, what's good, Western Mass? Mirabazi too busy changing uh, with Landon, dude. I follow. I just got my Instagram back. I for I forgot my fucking Instagram password, so I haven't been able to go on Instagram for like the past fucking week and a half. I just got it back, and I follow Landon XXX on fucking uh, Instagram, and he's posting these like gay ass photo shoots and shit. Is my um, is my uh, stream lagging? Is my stream lagging for you guys? Let me know if my uh, stream is lagging for you guys. Mirabazi too busy. Yeah. Kamakava, Bazi, Kai, Moreno, all are, are more valid contenders for the bot. Not Moreno, because he's coming off a loss. Um, but Cop, yes. Right? He was going to fight uh, Mateos Nicolau. He was already going to fight for a number one contenders fight. Makayev just beat 
Uh, Alex Perez, who's a former title challenger. I mean, Obazi, we don't even... No, we don't need to fucking talk about Amir Obazi. Kakar Franz on a loss streak, too, unfortunately. Even though, it's a, even though it's a win, on paper, it's a fucking loss, which makes me scream and shout and let it all out. Comes by Nikola Obazi, still MIA. KKF is hiding from Cop And Moreno just lost to Roy Val. Yeah, but give it to Roy Val, dude. Give it to fucking Roy Val. Duh! Pen, don't do it. Pen, don't do it. Pen, don't do it. That's what cat. That's what beta male Ronin MMA haters say. That's what. That's what the uh the most casual Ronin MMA hater will say. The most. <laughs> Ronin MMA haters will say, "Oh, Pantoja beat my Roy Val twice, dude. Roy Val beats Pantoja." Rayval beats Pantoja in the trilogy. It's funny that people don't understand that. He's leveled up. He got he got injured and in at the very start of the Pantoja fight. And that fight was way closer than people. We talk about damage, damage, damage over control. He did more damage on bottom than Pantoja got fucking control, dude. No Gemaka. What's good, Lethway? And what's good, Regal? Right? What's good, Delenzer? What's good, Bogdan? My boy Bogdan. Big G. The fucking Fantastic Five is in here. W Kings for being alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure uh, AFK kind of cash <laughs> right now. I'm manager of this pharmacy near my crib. Listen, listen, Kingsy, Kingsy, Kingsy. You know, you know, there's a policy for every single day. There's a certain amount of leeway for cash being, oh, there's a hundred dollar. Like I remember at Chipotle, Chipotle, there's like a hundred dollar leeway where it's like, if there's a hundred dollars more, hundred dollars less, then they don't check it at all. So just, I'm just reminding you of that. I'm just reminding you of that. You know, take take what you want to do with that, right? And like for a second, it immediately fix itself. It keeps on going in and out, and I think it's because I, a because I'm doing through OBS, and b because I have the fucking Xbox open. It was good to lens. Francis gone and wants to know your location. I'll said, meet me at the station. I'll send you another destination. Like Anthony Joshua, no hesitation. God, I was going to put out a video about it, but... Dude, I've, I've recorded, like, three fucking videos. I'm like, these are just so shit. Like, I don't know why. Like, the some of the past couple videos that I've recorded are, like, shit. And, like, halfway through fucking editing, I'm like, this is just not even funny. I can't even, like, put anything funny in there, like, editing-wise. Like... Even the obese fighters, UFC fighters are obese. It's a decent video. It's a decent video. It's not one of my fucking worst. But I feel like I could have just done so much better with it. And I need to figure out what's wrong with that. I think I need, I need to stim the fuck out. I think I need to stim the fuck out is the problem. I wasn't stimming out for the fucking recordings. <laughs> like, finally, a real MMA streamer. Yeah, what's good, Rico? What's good? <laughs> Hey, Ronin, Ronin MMA is next up, bro. You know, dude, you know Ronin MMA with the vertical fucking live streams, the TikTok live streams is next up, dude. If you're a Ronin MMA hater, get out this chat right now, dude. God, yeah, what's your opinion on Jake versus Grand? Dude, I miss so much for fucking streaming, dude. Uh, Jake versus Tyson, dude. It's so funny, like, people like Joe Rogan being like, Tyson, Mike Tyson, still Mike Tyson. Yeah, he's Mike Tyson and 60 years old, dude. Do you know how easy it is to get injured at 60 years old? Dude, people get injured at 60 years old walking down the stairs. And he's training for a professional boxing match. A match. Boxing match, not a fight. Boxing match. <clears throat> he's 100% going to get injured and get knocked out in the first round, dude. People picking Tyson are nostalgic, stupid, and gay. Those are the those are the three common characteristics of people that are picking Tyson to beat fucking Jake Paul. They're nostalgic, stupid, and gay. It's the big three. Thoughts of me owning you? You own absolutely nothing. The big G. You know, I, dude. Did you even watch my video, Big G? Did you even watch the end of my video? UFC fighters are obese, dude. I would fucking. Yo, do you see this? Do you see this accuracy? Do you see this accuracy, bro? There are six shots, six shots that missed, and three of them nicked, bro. Look at it. Look at it. I'm the most accurate MMA YouTuber of all time, bro. 
You don't want to catch the fade. You you ain't want to catch the fade, brother. You ain't want to fetch. You want you ain't want to catch the fade, brother. Pop 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 pop. Boom. Ah! I need my monster. What's up, Kingsy, my Riga? It should be Pantoja versus Ray Valtu. Well, they fought twice already. It's, it's the third. It'd be their third fight. Marlon, it'd be their third fight. And fuck it, dude. I'm gonna fucking... Uh... It's fucking lagging my stream. Fucking lagging my stream like a bitch. <clears throat> Ersha got the flyweight title shot. Uh, that's pretty cool for him, but Albazi's more deserving. Dude, it's crazy... I literally want to fight Amir Albazi. I think I'd beat him. Amir Albazi does deserve it more than Steve Ayers. Like, Matt Schnell, dude. Matt Schnell is on, like, a four-fight KO loss streak. What? How are you getting a title shot off that? Yeah, we're putting Toji versus Robert, uh, Robert Uh, Not much. You're chilling in the cash office at my store. Now, uh, watching the league. We're about flyweight. It's not going to lie. He's kind of spitting. I only spit factual information. Yeah, uh, Rigo Yaris got a title shot. Abazi's still recovering from the injury, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm injured. I'm recovering from my injury. 98% of fighters come into fights injured. Dude, that's one of the things that I might make. I might. I'm not actually. <laughs> zip it, lock it, put it in my pocket because Rico's in chat. Right? Oh, video idea. Video idea. Zip it, lock it, put it in my fucking pocket because Rico's in chat. Can't let out my video ideas. Can't let out my video ideas when Rigo's in chat. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Terrible advice. Sorry, I'm getting a bit behind. I'm getting a bit behind. Rigo stream for members. Did he even stream today? I don't know if he streamed today. I haven't I'm. I have also not been able to do a lot of videos or streaming either. Like, like the, you know, like three videos I was able to record, they were just like shit. It was a Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua reaction. Of like, what the fuck is this? A Mike Tyson, Jake Paul one. And the other one was a, um, a tier list that I was supposed to get out last week. But it just, it, I don't know what's wrong with it. I keep on, like, messing up two of the fucking fighters. And it's like, I don't want to fucking re-record it right after. I don't know. Whatever. People saying I'm going to have was rigged or brain dead. Steve Mojis believes in gnomes, dude. Steve Mojis is retarded. Shut up, Kingsy. Sh you fucking Don't forget. Shut up. My fucking stream lagging, dude. Is this shit lagging? Okay. It's fucking freezing up for me. I don't know why. It's because I'm doing it through OBS, dude. It's because I'm doing it through fucking OBS. Let me know if my stream's fucking lagging like a motherfucker, by the way. Because I don't want to keep on fucking doing all this. Oh, go back or whatever. Keep refreshing, whatever. We need Eagle and Rigo bid. Yes, we absolutely do. We absolutely do. James France. A beat Amir Albanian. Yeah. He absolutely beat him. That's literally how I see. Yeah. Yeah. It's still fucking uh, lagging, yeah. <laughs> it's good now? No, it's not. No, it's not fucking good now. You fucking bitch. It is not good now. Is it good now? Is it actually fucking good now? Fuck it, dude. Fuck it, man. God. Fucking OBS, dude. Little p piece of shit fucking program here. I can't even tell because it's fucking 12 minutes behind. Jesus Christ. Here we go. It's back. Fucking shit. <laughs> God, that's so fucking annoying. Gang shit, that's all I'm on. What's good, Jay? Sorry, fucking OBS, a piece of shit, fucking. I always have, dude, I always have fucking problems streaming through. Every single time I stream through OBS, I have fucking problems, dude. Every single time. If it starts lagging again, 
start saying that and I'm going to redo the stream if it starts lagging again because it's so fucking annoying. It's actually good now. Yeah, but it, it keeps on going in and out because fucking OBS is a piece of shit fucking program and it sucks wieners. It, uh, Itali. What? The fuck? Oh shit. God, this is so annoying, dude. Fuck, I'm losing. I'm fucking dropping viewers like flies right now. Tyson is losing. Absolutely. Itali, this is uh, technically a Rigo members. Oh, oh, Itali. Yeah, what's good, Itali? Uh, Valles. Valles. What's good, I, Itali Valles? Is technically a Rigo members. It basically is. It basically is. It's crazy me to think about how Brutally Eagle would knock him Miguel out. I would legitimately knock him out fucking like. It'd be like an insane knockout. It would literally be an insane... Because for I would um, lay and pray him for 24 minutes and 30 seconds. Here's the thing that people don't understand. I would clinch him and lay and pray him for 24 minutes and 30 seconds because it'd be a 25-minute fight. And in the last 30 seconds, I would fake low, jump up high faking a flying knee, boom, turning 540-degree fucking spin kick right to the dome. Boom! Fucking knocks his head back like a cartoon character. Uh, 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 twitching on the ground. He actually gets paralyzed this time. He's actually in a fucking wheelchair this time. Equal, you are a perfectionist. I can see in you because we are the same. You need to not be so critical of your creative process and let the videos flow. Yeah, because you know what's funny? You know what's funny? A lot of the times that I'm like, God, this video is just not good. And I'll just fucking put it out anyway. Like, it was um the most beta UFC fighters video. Like, that video was like... I was like, God, like, I fucking recorded that one twice. I'm like, this is just not turning out how I want it to turn out. I fucking just sh kind of shit it out. And it got, it's like my most viewed video. It always happens. Like, the problem with fucking, um, the problem with Aspinall versus, uh, whatever. That one I kind of just shit out, too. Not as, like, I didn't put any effort into it. But it was, like, not even close to what I wanted it to be. And I just threw it out. And it's fucking it got insane views. So that is correct. I need to stop being so, like, oh, it's a, it's a YouTube video. Like, yeah, I shouldn't just be shitting out videos, but it's a YouTube video. I don't need to fucking make it all to the best of my abilities. Because it never is. It's never what I want it to be. Because I don't have the capabilities to fucking do that. So I do need to kind of just fucking... Just put it to the fucking side. W. Lethway. W. Rigo. Brendan Oliver, Chris Curtis 2 got announced for April 6th. Chris, uh, Chris going to for real KO Brendan again and fly up the ranking number 6. I don't understand what the fuck they're doing with some of these matchups. Like, why are they rematch? Like, what the fuck? First of all, first of all, first of all, what did Marvin Vittori pull out, I'm guessing? Give him someone else, dude. Give Brendan Allen someone else. Don't make him rematch fucking Chris Curtis, dude. Nobody wants to fucking see that. It's a random rematch that makes no sense. Chris Curtis is coming off like a loss, right? Isn't Chris Curtis coming off a loss? Like, what the fuck? He probably is going to KO Brennan Allen again. If Ersic be Yeah, facts. If Ersic be uh, beats Pantoja, he's low-key a Chad, though. Going from number 10 to champion, plus his uh, path to victory is probably his boxing. I think if his uh, takedown defense could hold up, he could provide some real problems, low-key. His thing is, Pantoja was taking down and doing work against Roy Val and Moreno, the two best grapplers at flyweight right now, other than maybe Kai Kara France. Because Kai Kara France is very good defensive grappling if you you can shit on kai car france or fake maori or whatever he's got legit anti-grappling he's like the anti-grappler of flyweight and then roy val has really good like like uh opportunistic grappling and everything like good scrambles and opportunistic submissions and moreno is kind of a more you know just an overall good grappler and Petoja just easily fucking just held him down. He's going to do that to Ursag. Like, what do you think fucking Steve... Do you think a dude named Steve Ersag who looks like Steve Ersag is going to beat Pantoja? The cannibal? Do you think Steve Ersag? Steve Ersag is going to beat the cannibal? Bro, what the fuck? He's abs He's not going to have a chance, dude. Italy absolutely me and will do IRL collab soon. Yes, yes, yes. IRL collab as well, dude. It's going to be fucking insane, dude. I'm so behind in chat. Fuck. The big really just big up Ron. <laughs> and yes, dude, he's next up. Doesn't matter who you are. Uh, age is a killer. What's good, TT? Are we going to get the new Rigo and the Ego? Maybe. TT, for sure, Vigo still wants to call us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just, uh, I'll message you on Instagram. I'll message you on Instagram. Imagine not being with it consistently. Shoot 10 out of 10 on Clay's, dude. I can. First of all, I can. I can. I just say 9 out of 10 because I'm so humble. I'm so... Dude, this is the thing that people don't understand. I'm so humble. I'll say I'm 9 out of 10 consistently on skeets. And they're skeets, not clays. If you call them clays, you're a 
beta. They're called skeets, right? Skeet, skeet. I am consistently 10 out of 10 on skeets, but I humbly say, oh, I'm 9 out of 10, because every once in a while, every once in a blue moon, I'll hit 9 out of 10 on skeets, right? John Edick would bring you up on that UFC infographic showing you made 90% accuracy more, dude, like 95% at least. I don't want the flayed brother. You don't want the flayed brother. Shout out to my lost souls in the chat. Shout out to all my lost souls. What's up, you go hold up your training for the Marines? It's going well. What's good, PJ? They keep on texting me, dude. I keep, I keep on, dude. They actually keep on texting me. They actually keep on texting me. I, I'm going, like, I, I'm good, dude. I'm good. Like, I don't want to, like, run through your training and, like, show how, like, you know, easy, the how easy it is to be a Marine. Like, I don't want to fucking expose the Marines as being, like, beta males or whatever. <laughs> Come on here. <laughs> What's good, PJ? What's good, left white black belt? What's good, Palm Shack? What's good, Confused? What's good, Monk Motsi? I think that's it for now. Lego, I can't fight on the street, peeps. It's a six hour drive for me. Fuck that. Bro, it's worth it. It's fucking work. It's fucking worth it. It's fucking worth it, bro. <laughs> it's worth it because you'll shout me out. That's why it's fucking worth it. What's up with the stream, bro? Yeah. Fuck this, dude. Is it, um. Is this shit. Is this shit all fucked? <laughs> is this shit all fucked? the hell is wrong what the flip hold on is this stream fucking good dude what the fuck it's bugging out right now what the hell god i fucking hate obs fucking piece of shit fucking stupid god is this shit good dude fuck me fuck, I don't, okay whatever i don't see a, I don't see anyone fucking saying whatever, so I'm fucking, I guess, just, whatever. Fuck OB, dude, this is such a, I'm never using OBS again, dude, fuck this. No, you quit streaming, uh, I don't blame him, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's a busy time of year, uh, but I'm aiming to do uh, daily live streams as the spring comes. I'm not big Geo's live streams. Here's the thing, daily live streams are not good, dude, don't do daily live streams. You can do mostly daily member streams but dude don't do the daily uh live streams that will absolutely kill you dude it's it will fry your brain dude i can't fucking do that i can do you know fucking daily uh once every two day video with live streams in between or whatever daily fucking live streams is even harder than daily fucking videos it burns me out way fucking more because like after a video i'm fucking up and doing around waiting for the fucking video to do good after a stream, I'm just fucking sitting here, just like, brain dead, bro. Just sitting here fucking brain dead. <clears throat> Sorry. Fuck, dude. Okay, I just, yeah, it is OBS, fucking sucks. They might read my long message. There's nothing there. It probably got shadow banned. I keep watching Nerd Hagen's breakdown of the O'Malley versus Cheeto to, uh, 2 fight, and he just roast the fuck out of Cheeto. I fucking hate Nerd Hagen. He's so annoying. He should go live from my cash office. <laughs> if you fucking want to, bro. It was supposed to go. West Mass Glamour Regal. It's good, okay. Gang shit, that's all I'm on. Yeah, I'm way behind. Sorry. It's fucking 10 minutes behind. Uh, Gang shit, that's all Eagle. Absolutely not. You're gonna be a Navy SEAL? Uh, no. I'm, I'm choosing not to be a SEAL. I could be, like, one of the fucking... I could be, like, a Black Beret. Dude, people talk about Green Berets, dude. What about the Black Berets, bro? I don't even... I could be a Black Beret, but I choose not to. Are you going to become a Recon Marine? Nah, it's too easy. Yeah, it's not perfect. OBS is just a fucking terrible thing. You with the definition of a late stop, which was Cheeto's liver busting uh, body shot. Fire Keith Peterson. I hate him so much. I hate Keith Peterson so fucking much, dude. I hate him. God. There was, um... God, there was a fight on that card that really fucking pit. Rebellus is Spain versus Josh Parisian. That was such a tear. Dude, and I watched Lucas Tracy's reaction. He's going, oh, oh, he's screaming over Rebellus is Spain getting a knockdown over Josh Parisian. You're going crazy. You're going batshit nuts to the fucking wall over Rebellus is Spain knocking down Josh Parisian? What the fuck he. Chill out, dude. Holy shit, it's not that fucking deep. Here you got fil uh, filtered boot coming uh, from one of the biggest Cheeto fans in the world. You got dog walk by O'Malley. Yeah, I mean we all knew that was gonna happen. I just thought, dude, I knew. I said Cheeto Vera was gonna get dominated for five rounds of five rounds, and at the very last second, he's gonna land some hail mary shot and knock O'Malley out, and he nearly fucking got it, dude. With that body shot, he was so close, dude. Because I knew he's just he's so inactive. 
He just doesn't throw anything. He just doesn't throw anything. That's Cheeto. That's Cheeto Rivera. That's Cheeto Rivera's problem. Is he's just stupid and he doesn't throw anything. He he wants to be this technical fucking striker, this technical fucking point fighter. You're retarded, dude. You're not smart at all. You have to be. You have to have uh, ten IQ points to be a technical fucking or oh, play at range or whatever. You're Ecuadorian. It's in your blood to be stupid and just stand to bang with people. I can picture Josh and Bryce Mitchell last knockout. The whole crowd goes silent. His guru is twitching on the canvas. I'd spark him so bad. It'd be, like, disgusting. As a uh, one Mali fan, it's a bit... Uh, no, he didn't. Cheeto almost went to the shadow run multiple times. He got one lucky body shot at the end of the fight. Cheeto got his ass whipped. Uh, he could have finished O'Malley, though, if he wasn't. Yeah, he could have He could have fucking finished O'Malley if he was... If he had, um... Oh, if he wasn't um, brain dead. <laughs> if he wasn't brain dead, he could have finished O'Malley. Crazy Ego is going to be an ABC one. Nah, it's too easy. I was scared of the power. All your videos suck. The only good one was the Ian Gary one. It, it, that's probably one of my favorite videos. That did, Dude, I was so pissed that that video only got like 200 views, dude. I was so pissed because I put like, like six hours into that video. I put like six hours into that video. Like making the script, editing and everything. Maybe even seven. And I was like, fuck, this got to get at least fucking 300 views. It got 200. It was at the start of my channel, so it's like I wasn't expecting a shit ton, but I was like, fuck, dude. Like, I'm going to do more of those types of videos. I'm going to do more of those types of videos of, uh, like, those, like, fighter documentaries. They're going to be very sparsed out because they're not my – I like to do them every once in a while, but I will absolutely keep doing those types of videos. No Kings and Cheeto one based on damage, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ersic des definitely doesn't deserve a title shot. Most good friends are No shot, dude. No fucking shot. At no point with Cheeto hurt. You're spreading propaganda for your community. Cheeto uh, could have won if he didn't feel like a pussy. Cheeto could have won if he wasn't fucking absolutely stupid. Chris Curtis never lost a fight. But now I'm going to get flatline KO'd again by the bright. Okay, baby, Curtis. Curtis coming off a win of Mark andre Barrio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mark andre Barrio. The greatest fucking middleweight of all time, dude. Yeah. Greatest middleweight of all time, Mark andre Barrio. He's going to spark him, dude. <laughs> that didn't, uh, that need to even land the noises. Cheeto's ears popping. I actually did like that. I actually like that rematch. Uh, Let's go Tarzan Trick. Uh, which one? Uh, oh, Curtis versus Allen? I don't know, dude. I think Curtis should be you, just thrown to these fucking wolves. Like, dude, you know what's crazy? Michelle Pajeda is fighting another unranked. Bo Yo, Kay, hey, give Chris Curtis to Michelle Pajeda, dude. Michelle Pajeda has been fucking fighting these unranked bums for 12 years, dude. Mikhail looks eight chick. These fucking people right outside the rankings, and he keeps on getting thrown. These people. He just got another fight booked with some other unranked bum, bro. Give him a fucking ranked opponent. Holy shit. Cheeto, let's, what's, yeah, what's good? It, 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 what's good? Tight tight bets. Then it was just Dana pulling out his. <laughs> okay. Cheeto let us hold down. He fell in love with the idea of catch O'Malley at some point uh, and just stands there and waits. I don't know how I was a uh, fool to believe he find a shot on O'Malley. I mean, I literally said he was going to get dominated for five rounds straight and find a Hail Mary at the last minute. But, I mean, even that's fucking. Even. Hey, even Cheeto Mary landing one clean shot on O'Malley is a fucking. Um, it's, it's a fucking. You know, it's a unicorn, dude. It's never going to happen because he doesn't throw anything. Cheeto didn't get dropped. He thought about shooting. He was taking a penetration step, but decided not to. Except that was a good palm strike. Nerd didn't got his wig split when he fought Cheeto. Yeah, honestly, Cheeto beat Nerd taking based on damage. Cheeto's a journeyman whose best wins are old man past the prime. Yeah, oh, dude, the way he knocked out Dominic Cruz. Dude, the way he got. Dude, the way he knocked out Dominic Cruz after getting outpointed for four rounds straight. Like, what? Cheeto should have shot a takedown. Shot a damn takedown, at least break up on Mally's with him. That's the thing is, he's so stupid. And his, his, his corner was saying that. His corner was saying, you have to throw, you have to fucking engage in the grappling. I gotta land the big strike. Like, I gotta land the big strike. And um, I'm gonna swing my big dick around. Yo, go back to the Mad Shane Secret Podcast and talk about your big dick. Dude, go back to the Mad Shane Secret Podcast. That's what you're good at. That's what you're good at. It's Mad Shane Secret Podcast. Not, not being a UFC champion. If your wife hit the spa, she getting bust up. <clears throat> the judges scored it for Cheeto was the only person that watched that fight. I'm black and Jewish today. I'm Mexican every day. What's up with the stream, bro? It's fucking just being a piece of shit. It's cause fucking OBS, dude. And I can tell when it, whenever it starts fucking, sp just fucking falling apart. My viewers dip like heavy. Every time it starts fucking lagging, my viewers dip like half. It's really fucking annoying. It's cause I started out OBS cause I was gonna fucking um.
And it, yeah, my Xbox is gone. Um, but I was gonna play a fucking couple rounds of UFC four before people came in, but people immediately fucking came in. <laughs> you go and mog his drill sergeant to hard. Yeah, I'd, I'd absolutely mog him, dude. It'd be like pathetic. David Cox is a beta male, by the way. <laughs> absolutely not. Tell me you're gonna be a seal. Uh, that's why I have a navy hat. No, this is from the. Uh, this is from when I was in New York. This is from when I was in New York. You go with Vaughn Flute choking an entire Marine squadron sub uh, sub five minutes. I'd mm, bitch choke. I'd, I'd forearm choke them. Walrus choke them. He'd force them in retirement. <laughs> you know, monetize. It's been like three months since you have five hundred subs. Uh, it's because of watch hours, Gray Shirt. It's because of watch hours. God, that's so delayed. Oh my god. Sorry, I just I'm watching my fucking stream and it's so delayed because of OBS. Because of OBS, it's fucking literally fifteen seconds delayed. Um, Gray Shirt, Gray Shirt, Gray Shirt. It's very, very close. Let's just say that. Let's just say I have to do some formalities first, and there's like a couple things that are I have to mute that are copyrighted, and I think I have to take out one intro from one of my earlier videos that uses UFC footage. Um, but it's just watch hours. It's just watch hours, and it's been it's been at like a hundred for probably the past month and a half, maybe. It's been like a hundred for like the past month. Nah, for like the past month probably, it's been at like a hundred. But I just haven't been doing a ton of videos or streams or anything. Which is so the streams are the main things that got me my watch hours. Um, that's why you see like Ajay's isn't monetized already, and he's had fuck. He has more fucking subscribers than me. Um, yeah, but I had to. Uh, I had to delete a bunch of stuff. I had to uh, get a bunch of get rid of a bunch of stuff because of copyright and everything. It's just taking a fucking long time. But hey, very very close. Let's just say that. So you choose the guy who will ever be champ because he's dead set to find a shot while losing rounds. Yeah. My grandpappy broke a draft dodger's jaw in 1978. That's a fucking Sigma male move, dude. Listen, listen. I would fight if there was a war, dude. But there's no... Hey, there's no war going on right now. That America is involved in. There was a real war. You know Ego would be front lines, obvi. Right? Even though I'm more of a sniper, I'm a front line sniper. I fucking get right up in their asses and fucking hit them with that quick scope, dude. Easy. Easy shit. Do y'all pay for the pay-per-view? Absolutely. I have ESPN Plus and everything. Because I, I got the ESPN Plus through a Disney Plus bundle. It, I don't use Disney Plus at all, but it's with Hulu, ESPN Plus, and Disney Plus. And we just use it for Hulu. Big Lenny mogged a drill dork. Rigo would have loved Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. Navy SEAL instructor uh, Pat Stone is the best uh, drill instructor. Look up instructor Pat Stone highlights. Okay. Fucking uh. Keep that in the fucking reservoir. Muhammad Ali dodge draft. Yeah, that's kind of a beta male boo. And changing his name to Muhammad to try and get like pity points with the fucking Muslim community, dude. I think Muhammad Ali was kind of a dirtbag. I think Muhammad Ali was kind of like a dirtbag and like a grifter, right? You, no one just changes their name to Muhammad to dodge the fucking draft. That's like a scumbag. Yo, fight for your country, dumbass. He changed his name and pretended to be Muslim so he didn't have to fight in a war. You're a scumbag. W friendless. Jake Paul is going to break that draft. Dodgers jaw. Uh, tie tie. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's Mike Tyson. Yeah. Uh, but not Tyson, whatever, same thing. Ursa, what's good, Jebedow? Ursa getting Tyler Shore is by far the funniest shit I've ever seen. Dude, he's gonna, he's gonna get fucking, he's gonna get subbed in the first round or something, dude. He's gonna get fucked up. Her Jane and Finch was all the baddies still. What? What's good, simple? That Brampton full of stinky waist dudes that can't drive? Okay. Some fucking gay British slang. I can't wait for the new Vietnam. Ivron, Rigo, it'd be the same thing just with Desert and Mountains, Rigo. Do it again, salsa to Mikey, the pizza eater in a street. Was it to Mikey, the pizza eater? What? The fuck is that? Keith person looks like Bobby Hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a notification. I generally started crying. Okay, Steve, there's like beating Chanel and then claiming cause absolutely. He's not gonna fucking, dude. Pento is gonna run through him like easy. That's my. That's something where I legit, I would legit bet money on fucking Pento. There's you probably get like fucking twenty cents off a two hundred dollar bet, but like. It's the, probably the easiest money you'll ever get, dude. Steve Arisag is fucked. <laughs> like, he got exposed in the fucking his last fight that wasn't matched. No, the one right before that, where he's like, he did not look good at all. <laughs> like, but anyone who uh, who takes stand need a drama? What are you talking about? Which reaction is extremely fake and overdone for the camera? Absolutely. You can just... White people don't react like that. He's like a, he's like a light-skinned white boy. Like, 
I'm Mexican. Like I'm a I'm a like a, a blanquito Mexicano. I'm a blanquito. Uh, I'm a blanquito. Um, what is it? Fucking what is it? What is the fucking word? I can't think of it. I can't think of the word. Chicano. I'm a blanquito Chicano. Um, so I like actually am just like I'm a very energetic person. Lucas Tracy's like. A very relaxed fucking oh. He puts all his energy into fucking workouts and his fucking cookbook. His his revised cookbook, which is removing the That might be the biggest news that I miss is Lucas Tracy's revising his cookbook. My fucking light's falling. My three hundred dollar lamp is falling. <laughs> fuck what the fuck dude? Why is this fucking why are you why are you fucking being a bitch? Okay, fuck you. Fuck you, you stupid fucking idiot. You stupid. F keeps on. F oh, you fucking fucker. God, I don't have this all fucking set up yet. This, this is my desk. It's fucking multi purpose, so I have to fucking rearrange it every time. Um, I don't like Nina. I like Nina drama, dude. Let's be honest, dude. We all fucking like Nina drama. <laughs> Read that, like, uh,. 10 times people out there. I'm getting so behind. So I'm actually get, If I missed a chat, if I missed a chat, fucking send it back if you want it to be read. Because I'm getting so far behind. I don't want to be fucking catch up stream here. Um, Eagle, would you uh, have a war with David Grant like Cheeto did? I would run through David Grant so easily, dude. Do you think Huffville of Sun's I was beating David Grant? Dude. Dude, you don't even want to know what I would do to him. He looks like a smelly, lazy girl. I bet her house is dirty with stuff everywhere. Her bathroom is probably a nightmare full of creams and stuff. She didn't never use it. She's taking space. Yeah, dude, that's fucking. That's that's that, bro. That's a positive, brother. Brother, that is a positive. Well, you want some chick that's all clean and old. People that are clean and clean. First of all, shouts to all my stench maxers and all my um and all my uh uh dirt maxers, all my uncleanliness maxers that have uh things strewn out through their entire room right if you're clean if you have a clean space i don't trust you because you're like a serial killer only serial killers have clean areas um you want people to be dirty okay it makes you think better yeah, that's a fact right just trust me on that he's good for his logan paul coverage plus he got ian gary's leaked book how to be a bad guy what i've seen some of his videos pop up oh sewer king Give me Michelle uh, Brennan Alley. Dude, exactly like... I'm sure Michelle Pedro won't be like, oh, no, don't give me Brennan Allen. Like, no, dude. Michelle Pedro will take a fight with fucking Brennan Allen. Like, it's it's stupid why they're fucking... They hate Michelle Pedro, dude. They fucking hate him. Pedro's on a seven-fight win streak. I'm pretty sure he... Uh, uh, where is Roman Delizia when you need... Yeah, I, I mean, just give him someone, dude. Give him even Fluffy Hernandez, dude. Give him somebody. Give him somebody because he's a legit contender at fucking middleweight. Basake. What's good, bomb straight? I'll check him out. I just said so he should pop up more. Do a collab with Big Mize. I've been trying to shut him out, dude. He doesn't respond to his fucking comments. Dude. Big Muzz, dude. I've commented on, like, two of his fucking videos, and he hasn't said shit. He posted a video seven hours ago. He just doesn't even go into his comments at all, dude. Lucas Tracy-esque. Just not going into his fucking comments at all. When are we collabing? Okay, I just commented on the Big Muzz's most recent clip. When are we collabing? If you want to pump that up, go pump it up. Pump, 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 pump it up while the beat is stomping, right? Go fucking pump that shit up. Bro, Ben Watson, did you try to pull Garden Poirier? for grab him early. Stop it. Dude, people, dude, people genuinely picked Ben Watson to need to beat Dustin Poirier. And it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh that people pick BSD over Poirier. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you forget that Benoit Saint Denis is ranked number fucking thirteen? Poirier is number three. Benoit Saint Denis is so open on the feet. Do you think he's gonna knock out Poirier? People were saying he's gonna submit Poirier in like the second round. You think he's gonna do better? You think he's better than Khabib? Are you nuts? So you think he's better than Khabib? He's gonna submit Dustin Poirier easily? It took Khabib fucking hell and back to submit Poirier. And like, you had to have picked him to knock out Poirier, but BSD is so open on the feet. Specifically, I was saying this, specifically the lead hand, the jab, and the check hook. What did Poirier knock him out with? Check hook. 
right? Lead hand is so open on Benoit Sidney. He's a brawler. He just wants to stand and bang. Sure, King Flint Canada before you did. Uh, entered USA through Mexico and got 5K and free smartphone. What the fuck? Actually, Brad uh, should talk sense to Cheeto. He only what Cheeto listens to. But once he didn't learn that Corpse Guard with the French Special Forces. BSC used a fake death pill from uh, MGS3. It was fine. It was early stoppage. Yeah, I was like, it was a little bit of early stoppage. It could have gone like a couple more ground and pound shots. To go up in Watson, he's just some random dude off the street. <laughs> yeah. For a while, he cared about him. Uh, he meant he cared about meal deals. He'd be 150 and 0. Lost so better. Is he live right now? Oh, wait, what the fuck is it? He's trying to compete with fucking Eagle MMA, bro? What the? He's not, dude. He better go live. Yo, Lost so better go fucking live right after this, dude. Lost so better go live right fucking now. Like, right after this. If Goggins is a beta, what is he? Zeta male. He's a gamma male. Gamma male. Look at his knees, dude. His knees are all aft. His knees are... His knees are not even able. He can't even grow his knees. David Goggins, his, his David Goggins' knees are so effed, he can't even grow them. He can't even grow his knees. Oh, no, that one is actually Britain's, uh, Britain's only hope. Tom Aspel never going to be on Gunner's belt record. Yeah, dude, you know what's, you know, you know what really pissed me off? You know what really pissed me the F off? Let me look this up. Um, God, really pissed me the F off. Uh... The MMA gurus fights to make. The MMA gurus fights to make always piss me off because they're just so brain dead and he puts no thought. I, like, I never put any thought into any of my videos. I just make my fucking videos. I'll write, like, a rough script. My fights to make are the only ones that'll look into the unranked rankings. He wants Cheeto to fight Song Yadong for the fucking fifth time. Yeah, dude. Let's make Cheeto Vera versus Song Yadong fucking 12. Let's make them fight for the 17th fucking time. Are you re regarded? Dustin Poirier versus Conor McGregor? I'm sorry. Also, wasn't MMA Guru one of the f fucking main people criticizing Poirier fighting fucking Conor McGregor a fourth time? He was one of the main proprietors of F, you know, Poirier versus Conor McGregor too. We need, to, we need Conor McGregor versus someone else. We need Poirier to fight fucking contenders or whatever. He was one of the main people that said that's stupid. Ben Watson need for Drew Dober, that's good. Um, I can't even see what this one is. MVP versus fucking Wonder Wondersoy. I don't care. What Jack Del Madalena versus Shavka, I don't care. Dilbert Burns versus Sean Brady, don't care about that. Figgy versus Yawn, I mean whatever. And fucking Blades versus Aspinall. That was the one that pissed me off. It's Blades versus Aspinall. Hey, um, I think Curtis Blades should get one more win before fighting the number one contender, Tom Aspinall. Not the champion. Not the champion, Tom Aspinall. The number one contender, Tom Aspinall. I think Curtis Blades needs one more win. I think it should be Cyril Gaon versus Tommy Aspinall for the number one, the rightful, for the for the number one contender's fight to fight John Jones, right? To, to see who fights John Jones again, right? What's good, Bismarck MMA? If they were the same size, Arnold, that would be John Jones. Absolutely not. What's Goggins running from? He's running from pussy. Right, his wife is always filming him. Right, he's literally he's literally running away from pussy. He was the time I go uh, twerking them. No, what the fuck? Sean Shurkin is what's wrong with this world? No, absolutely not. Sean Shurkin's a, a sigma alpha Chad. Goggins had an easy life. He played football, joined the air force, and got fat once he got out. And then joined the military again, became a seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy life, bro. Easy life. You got an easy life in the suburbs. Well, he lives in. Do don't don't. Hey, hey, actually, 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 that's disgusting. You would say that. Rigo had to grow up and still has to reside in Canada. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. He was born and raised in Canada. His life is infinitely harder than David Goggins, than fucking um, Jared Gordon, than fucking anyone else. Dude, he, he was born and raised in Canada and is forced to live there still because it, it's like expensive to fucking move continents. Not continents, fucking countries. Um, that's, that hurts me on the inside. Pause. Tom will be the new, uh, Barrow. Defending the owner about, like, three times and failing to claim my dispute once given the opportunity. He, I mean, you can't, you can't defend a fake belt. That's the thing, though. You can't defend the number one contender. You cannot defend your number one contender status. 
There's no belt. He doesn't hold a belt. He's never been a champion. He never will be a champion. I'm a on Instagram. I see Texas just banned porn. W. Yeah, I just I saw that too. I saw so yo they just banned porn. What the fuck? Yeah, it's actually a good thing. That's actually a good fucking thing. I know Russia did that too. I'm not trying to be pro Russia because like fucking Tucker Carlson is like pro Russia for some reason. Which is like what the f- do do we remember who the fucking Russians are? <laughs> like the fuck? Um, W Texas uh. Ali didn't do it for pity points. It's for the money. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If Chobro don't badmouth Cassius Clay, that's his real name is Cassius Clay. Um, and let's not forget, he's a character. He's a character. He he um made his entire personality off of uh, like a or 1920s fucking professional wrestler, dude. Like a f- uh, like pretty fucking whatever his name. Like some like weird like king. Yeah, it was 100%. Tummy Boy gonna lose his knees uh, versus Bubba ba Blades. <laughs> okay, that's fucking chill garland's cries about his dad being his mom all the time but to be a part of the kid's life after i divorced him he's such a fucking freak okay okay chill guys clay's my hero he's my op or is it such a good prospect it's a shame he's gonna get run through by pentoja he's not a good prospect what what makes you think he's a good prospect when he knocked out matt schnell he beat fucking um some unranked fucking bum dude who has ursa beat dude nobody but i'm um, no, nah, that's not worth any money eres chele gordito chele Pentoja should win, uh, but Arisek, uh she's pretty good. Oh my god. No. Do not pick Arisek. Do, n- do not pick Arisek. I had someone comment. Where is it? It's right here. Um, fuck, where is it? Yeah. Some dude commented, uh, Krishan Patel. Uh, I'm about to place a nice parlay on your next card picks because I have like go to picks. He was telling me how smart I was. For p- he was just letting me know how smart I was for picking Ben Watson. Didn't need to lose to Dustin Poirier and how like he was like, yeah, I'm, I can't believe like MMA Guru and all these people were people picked against people picked me Cal Olegzaychik to beat Michelle Pajeda too. By the way, just let, dude, let that sink in. Let that sink in. People picked Ben Watson to me and me Cal Olegzaychik. You have to be a different level of dumb, dumb, nuts, so fucking crazy, stupid head to pick Mikhail Oksaychik and Ben Washington. They should deport you. Okay. I'm as legal as it can be. Gogan Suzuki, a fraud. He was a TACP in the Air Force, which is another special ops unit. Then he got out and just got out of shape before joining again to be a SEAL. Okay, fucking... But he makes it seem like he was a total loser in over shape that never worked out before. That's just what in shape people that used to be fat always say. That's just how in shape people that used to be fat always fucking say. It's like, I, I fucking, whatever, because it is fucking gross to be fat. Like, it's not a good thing. Parrot, Wero, Palm Strike Phoenix, Airstrike is terrible. Yeah, he's not good, dude. Like, he's going to get, honestly, I'd say first round knockout for Pantoja. I think he, like, Honestly, like in the first two and a half minutes, I'd, I'd put, I would put money on Pantoja by finish in the first half of the first round. That's actually like a betting line I'd make. I don't know how much it would cost to hire John Jones to give uh, old Goggins an oblique kick. Oh my God, dude. That would fucking destroy him. You sure the fucking bones crackle off each other? <laughs> Soy Blanquito Marica is words you're looking for. Eagle, absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not. Don't even fucking. You don't even, here's the thing that you don't even understand, Brendan Norseman. I just did something you'll never understand, okay? I just did something you'll never understand. You were about, and I have to be a little bit careful while talking about this. You were about to be, um, let's just put it this way. You were going to die for 50 years straight in the most horrific way possible. And every single one of your generation, of your family, your elders, and your youngers were going to be uh, sold into slavery. And I just ended that. I just ended that because I went like this. Okay, I just ended that because I'm such a nice person. I was like, no, he didn't mean it. Right? But just be careful next time. Just be careful next time. Right? Or that might... Or that might happen, bro. I'm just saying. Dude, I'm just saying. Tempura and Tysir got to the Wands were in frog. Dude, Tempura's halfway through, dude. I saw in the fucking... In the UFC, because I was looking at what time the card starts. It, it looks fucked. And Tui Voss has got the fucking man bun. He was a sucker for horrors. No. It's not French. Yeah, it's good uh, French potato. Yeah, their haircuts are fucked. Don't Jones hit a fan of the hospital with a leg kick. Yeah, I saw a ketchup stream. No. 
That fan was sore, dude. Uh, they went to the hospital for a bruised leg. Yeah, so, like, fucking, I could take that easy. I could take that easy. So, Marlon, Nino Drama got good videos. The Johnny Walker one is based. Yeah, let's not pretend like Nina Drama is just, dude, like, you just watch her because she's hot. It's like, who, I mean, Helen Yee, dude, yeah, she's nice, but it's, like, really big, clearly fake tits, and that always just throws you off. Like, Helen Yee could be as hot as you fucking want her to be, but just big, giant, huge, fake tits, like, it's not my thing. <laughs> just not my, just not my thing. And Minty Betts is fucking, she's not interviewer she's fucking ufc betting line so you can't fucking get her um so you have to go with fucking nina drama brother nina drama brother fighting david grant sucks pretty fun not gonna lie do, uh do like to strike david grant sucks he, he got fucked up by half of a sun so wasn't even that bad I'm a messy person dude though uh oh my god jones kicked me my leg is gonna fall off such a story beta worshiping fighters but normal person bruises like he would have gone to the hospital i bet probably he's gonna get the winner of uh craig versus kyle probably or roman he just fought Roman. <laughs> or you mean Roman Delita? I thought you meant remote. Okay, you can't say Roman because there's Roman Delita and there's Roman Kopilov. I was like, he fucking just fought Roman Kopilov. And Kyo's going to beat Craig. Let's be honest. Kyo is going to beat Craig. I have been on Kyo Brayo since Contender Series. Let's just let's just remember that. Let's just remember that. I've been on Kyo Brayo since Contender Series. I think if he's not... I think he's a top seven contender at least. I think Kyo Brayo is a top seven contender at least. He's pretty decent, dude. He just... Kind of ran through Abu Magomedov on the ground. Right, on the ground. I know Abu Magomedov has shit grappling, but... He's... Kyle Brown looks promising, dude. And they threw him to the wolves, dude. They threw him to the fucking wolves at first. And he looks pretty fucking decent. JDM beat Shavkat. Nah, I still think Shavkat beats him because the knees are open on JDM. And that long, lanky style is hard for him. He wants to be in the pocket striking with that. I know Shavkat likes to throw in the pocket, but Shavkat's also smart. He's probably going to distance strike, and when JDM gets up close, clinch, boom, knee to the body, boom, knee to the body. Exit with a fucking oblique kick, right? Just when he comes in close, clinch, knees, elbows, break with a strike, keep long with the jab and the kicks and everything, leg kicks, front kicks to the body. Lucas like some of my comments, uh, you're just a marica. I'm talking about Big Muzz, I'm talking about Big Muzz, the channel. Look up Big Muzz, he's a Lucas Tracy Clip, he's the Lucas Tracy Clip channel. Goggins and Piper are the same person. They have such difficult lives. Goggins ran ultra marathons to avoid going out on combat missions. Could be busy and good at anything. Guru trying to do technical analysis to justify BSD beating Poirier was hilarious. Lamar, all you had to say was Poirier was one of the best strikers ever in BSD. Has Askren striking. Yeah. Ben Wasidini is just a fr Hey! Hey! All you had to say is Ben Wasidini is more French than Poirier. You know the real reason I picked Ben, uh, ben Wasidini to lose to Dustin Poirier? Because he's French. Because he's a Frenchman. Guess what? Oh, sorry, little Frenchie couldn't take a check right hook. Sorry, little Frenchie couldn't take a check a check right hook. Oh, one check hook and I'm down on the ground. Oh, it's impossible. It is literally impossible for a French to person to be a top contender in the UFC, let alone a champion. It's impossible. It's never gonna happen. It's written in the scrolls. Also, trying to do technical analysis on fucking fights is gay. Like, just give a quick fucking rundown, bro. Khabib's good at missing weight and being a coward. That's actually fucking true. Hey, MMA, by the way. Yeah. Pump buddy, I know what you mean. I know who you mean. Arizona Fire. Guys, I can't go rid the Taliban with you guys. I'm too tired from running 150 miles last week. Totally forgot I had deployment coming up. Guess I just have to stay on the FOB. The Lindsay No Ben has uh, spinning shit in his arsenal. BSD about that. Yeah, spinning back fist of death. I haven't been up late. Fuck. I'm getting so far behind. I'm actually getting closer. I've been I've been up late uh, for those streams much. Going to get me re why is this book popular? Okay. <laughs> fucking dude, show the fucking the David Coggins slander, dude. Shit. Where is fights to make videos suck? Minor levels, be honest. Are you, oh, do you make videos? Do you make videos? Tight tight bets. Yo, goaded, 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 goaded. They are. They are better. They are better. I like the fucking style too. I like the fucking style. Who'd you fucking What is this? Hey, listen, 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 listen. Here. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I don't see that you're subscribed. You're subscribed to the MMA Guru Cliffs. That's hilarious. And Kurt Kaz. I don't see that you're subscribed to the MMA. If you subscribe to Eagle... Here, here. Tight, tight bets. Tight, tight bets. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do you a solid here. I'm going to do you a solid here. Might only get you a couple subs, but listen, listen, listen. Go subscribe to tight, tight bets. Subscribe. 
right? Go click that link. Subscribe to Tai Tai Bets. He's an up and coming MMA channel, right? All you need to do now, Tai Tai Bets. All you need to do now is put me in your channels. And your you can, in YouTube Studio, we can put a little thing for channels, all oh, friends or whatever, OG MMA supporters or whatever. Go to YouTube Studio and put me as one of your featured channels, and I'll plug you. Put me as one of your featured channels, and I'll plug you. Right? I'll keep on plugging you, right? And the spice to make videos are terrible. Yours are uh, absolutely fucking better. Mine are obviously the best. Mine are actually best because that's like one of the only things I actually do research for. I'll look into the unranked rankings because I, I love making fantastic fucking fights. I love making like, like um, Trevor Peak versus fucking Terrence McKinney. I think that's a fight that they need to make. Terrence McKinney versus Trevor Peak, dude. That's such a fucking banger, dude. That is guaranteed entertainment. Guaranteed entertainment. And I know Trevor Peak would maul Terrence McKinney. MVP is uh, in Gary. No, I want to see MVP versus Wonder Wonder Boy, dude. I want to see, dude. Can, I hate Kevin Owens. I don't even want to get into that, dude, because I'm just gonna fucking be hate spewing for 12 hours, dude. If I, dude, don't even. Actually, do not even get me started on Kevin Holland because I'm gonna go off for 12 fucking years on how much I despise Kevin Holland. It's so annoying too how Goggins always brings up how he doesn't flow. Every man that's lean uh, enough doesn't float either. Lol. Well, that's not true. That's not fucking true at all. <laughs> Can't wait for Nerd again to interview Goggins and have him compare Art of War to Can't Hurt Me. Yeah, compare Dune to, um, compare, uh, reading Dune to running 120 fucking miles. Sup, Eagle May fam? Let's go, Johan Lieber. Johan Awesome. That's my nickname for you. Johan Lieber, just, just to remind you, my nickname for Johan Lieber is Johan Awesome. Rigo's nickname, and he made a whole video about this, is Johan Dumbass. I'm just reminding you of that. <laughs> just reminding you of that. Hopes for font, etc. Yeah, folks for fun is is good. I I forgot who I put Kyler Phillips with. I think I um who did I put Kyler? I forgot who I put Kyler Phillips with, but that's a decent fight as well. He mainly did that to kill two birds with one stone. He says the matchups are pretty solid. Uh, if he's the number one contender, he should fight the man who has a win over him. Yeah, true. We got a harder left than Goggins. Yeah, blah, 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 blades. Beat Jones in training. He deserves to fight Aspinall. Kennedy's gonna be where everyone wants to be in five years. No, dude. Unless unless they get that Pierre dude. I know Rigo Rigo. What are your thoughts on that Pierre dude? Rigo, what are your thoughts on that Pierre dude? Because I always see a bunch of fucking clips of him owning Justin Trudeau. Totally owning Justin Trudeau. What are your thoughts on that Pierre dude? Or anyone else that lives in Canada? What are your thoughts on that Pierre dude? Because he seems decent, but I'm not Canadian. I don't know Canadian politics. Because I'm not gay. I don't know I don't know homosexual politics. So I want to hear real Canadians' thoughts on Pierre. I'll be going to, uh, happy to see Eagles to one of the slowest chat readers ever. It never changed. Okay. I'm one of the slowest chat readers because I take every single, here, people, oh, it's so, so much, chat. because I appreciate every single chat. I'm not just running through, I'm not just skipping over 20,000 donations. I'm not just, um, reading a 34 month donation, a 34 month membership. I'm not just looking at a 34 month membership and going, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Pooing in reverse. Ty Ty just subscribe to your channel. Like to see that. Right? I actually read the chat and give my uh, input on things rather than just fucking sitting around jerking my fucking chicken here. Okay. Oh, so slow as strawberries. I know you're saying that in a, in a loving manner because you love me, right? Everyone of you guys love me. We're Eagle May. We're family members. This is the Eagle May family, right? We all love each other. Don't be Melina with it. Um, but because I actually appreciate every single chat, right? I try to I try to give a response to every single chat because I'm the best. I'll be going a couple months living the migrant's dream. <laughs> Gotten got called the N-word a couple times. We go sexually assaulted by a dog. There's no comparison. <laughs> what? Blaze toward John's, uh, John John's pack. Base American Patriot Eagle, exactly, exactly, bro. Don't even make me, dude. Don't even make me pull. Don't even make me pull this up again, dude. Don't even make me pull this up again. Do you see how fucking accurate I am? Look how many headshots. Look how many fucking headshots and body shots. Look how accurate I am to the body. Fuck it, fuck it. I won't even. I won't even stunt on you. I won't even absolutely stunt on you guys even more. I'll just sit my fucking monster and I'll go about my day. Red forty maxing. 
Not even once. It's done. It's out. <clears throat> Theodore Bell has been defended before going to be de uh, defended again unless John Jones wants to actually put a real heavyweight instead of an actor. <clears throat> yeah, Cyril Gunn is not a heavyweight. He's not a real fighter. Um, there's no such thing as a heavyweight interim belt right now, though. It's a, it's a number one contender's placeholder. Gargan Search of Pucky got intimidated by the KKK. Smokes, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Base Trailer Park Boys reference. Smokes, let's go. I don't know. I'm not fucking Canadian. I can't do that gay accent. Right? Cars of a fat patriot if it's a catchy name. <laughs> Trevor Corey. Smokes, let's go. Imagine doing a Polish guy, BSD, and Cheeto Parlay. That's like a nightmare. That's like a fucking nightmare. Nightmare parlay, dude. A French, a Polak, and an Ecuadorian. Dude! Dude! A French, a Polak, and an Ecuadorian. That's like the setup to like some joke about how many fucking idiots does it take to screw in fucking a light bulb. <laughs> a Polak, an Ecuadorian, and a Frenchie. Um, how many t how many Polaks, Frenchies, and Ecuadorians does it take to screw in a light bulb? Um, the entire countries because they're all stupid and gay. <laughs> all right, dude. I'm so funny. God, I'm the fucking best. <laughs> Don't just make sure to have stuff lined up uh, to post for any time off, bro. It can hit the content uh, or temp hiatus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, would be jam. No fucking shot. Because the KKK wouldn't let you join because they think you're Chinese. They wouldn't let me join because they think I'm Mexican. Because I'm, like, so convincingly Mexican. Because I am Mexican. Bought me a sir, hopefully, before the summer. If you're actually, dude, that'd be actually, that'd be sick if you fucking come to America. That'd actually be sick. Justin Ortiz is the best flyweight in the world, holding a win over Pantoja, dude. I, it's so funny bringing up those fucking no names that people completely forget about. Like, the juicier for Amigas that Dustin Ortiz is, bro. bro uh, Rigo actually said it. What? I missed a friend list. Little, what did I say? Yo, what's good, bloods? What's good, girl? I saw you fucking going at it. I saw Gerd fucking fighting Irish <laughs> in the fucking comments. <laughs> God, that dude's such a fucking weirdo. Not good. Fucking. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what if old gun thunderstrike you? What's up, girl? Are you wearing a Brendan Allen's hat? This is a fucking American Navy hat, brother. Blather. It's an American Navy hat, blather. You go impression of Ngumbo in the stanky leg. Well, yes, you fucked ACLs. His knees are not gonna grow. Uh, dude. You want me to hit this stinky leg like like I do not even know what that means. So like I don't even know what that means. Uh, so instead I'm gonna Oh my is this Oh my fucking okay, I'm just gay. I'm retarded. Um I don't fucking know. Um do the stinky leg. Do the stinky I don't fucking know. I'm not fucking guru, dude. I'll do impressions, but I'm not fucking guru. Doing gay fucking impressions that aren't even funny. Right. I'll do impressions, but not fucking gay guru impressions. Do you Austin needs to fight Derek Lewis if he wins? They already fought, dude. They already fought. That's one of the first fights I ever watched, dude. That's literally the reason I am into MMA is because I saw Tui Vasa versus Derek Lewis. First uh, pay-per-view I, I watched. Um, Adesanya versus Whitaker 2. It's the first pay-per-view I watched. I think it was the co-main event. I think it was the co-main event. Kyle Brown, Sam X, Craig. I think so. I think so. I think he beats Craig. I saw the new sitting next to Shimo and he, uh, she really is a giant tass. And all I could think of was Rigo saying tall chicks make, take massive shits. And oh boy, does she look like she drove giant logs post feeding. Okay, don't, okay, don't call. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, don't call it post feeding. Okay, okay. Let's get one thing up. I'm going to kill a bunch of fish in, a, in Minecraft. <laughs> right? Right? And go right, and Ghana will never pay Usman back. And Ghana will never pay Usman back. Right, yapping by UFC and Gary versus Colby. Right, Paper me Rigos have been taken over by Bundako. No copy love has done his uh, family well enough to be called copy love. Roman is Roman. That's it. Shopkeeper will take him down up close. Old man Gilbert Burns did it. Yeah, I mean Dilbert Burns. Do people have this like crazy fucking idea like Dilbert Burns is like a good grappler. Like, Dilbert Burns is a good anti grappler, but his offensive grappling is pretty shit. Oh, he's sub Neo Magni. Yo, no way. He sub Neo Magni, dude. That's fucking cray cray, dude. He's off the fucking blitzy there. 
Dustin's more French. He's literally not. He's Ben Washington is from France. France. Dilly's got wrecked by a mob of lol. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. Guys, legit. Uh, unfortunately, I predict zero title shots all because the UFC cucking him out of a title shot. Was he dumbass? Dude, they hate Brazilian middleweights. They hate Brazilian middleweights. Him, Michel Pajeda, dude. They fucking hate Brazilian uh, middleweights. Boy, he's the realest Frenchman in the UFC. Absolutely not. But Washington is just the worst. Joel Alvarez. <laughs> I mean, I think it's like a... Here's the thing about, about Ben Washington. I think he's like a good, solid... I think he's like the next Dan Hooker. I think he's like the next Dan Hooker. Well, he'll, he might get a title shot, maybe, if the contenders start lacking or whatever. There's no one else. I think he's like a solid top seven contender that's like go up and down in the fucking rankings. You know, drop down to 12, go up to fucking three or whatever. I'm already subbed to type pads. Yeah, I am too. You go, if you had that check hook, you'd point down uh, an invite pour into the booth. Cody G style. And I'd fucking spark him Cody G style. I'd spark him like Cody G gets fucking uh, sparked. Rigo thoughts on... Oh, that's Rigo. Uh, we need UFC Morocco. No, dude. No one gives a fuck. Just give him a uh, title shot already. I think he beats Leon. <laughs> dude, you know what's funny is he probably does beat Leon. But Wonderboy smokes him. Shavkat... I think Shavkat brutally beats him. Sean Brady gets... Dude... I was listening to The Weasel, dude. And here's the thing, because I actually watched The Weasel. I actually watched him because he's, like, boring. And I need, like, some boring... Like, I watch... I like watching Rigo videos, but sometimes I do see someone boring to fucking listen to. So I watch Lucas Tracy every once in a while. <laughs> no hate to Lucas Tracy, dude. I'm still looking for that. Lucas Tracy, I'm not hating on you. I'm still looking for that collab. If you still want to collab, Lucas Tracy, I am down. Absolutely. But that's why, I lose, uh, that's why I listen to Lucas Tracy every once in a while. And I think he's a C-tier MMA YouTuber because you do need that boring, fucking stagnant, you know, well, big meaty hooks or whatever. <laughs> uh, you do need that. But um, maybe Sean Brady is the fight to make. Absolutely not. Yeah, the weasel was saying Sean Brady beats MVP. Dude, Sean Brady got knocked out by Bilal Muhammad. Say that out loud three times and then say Sean Brady beats MVP and think about that for 12 seconds and you go, oh no, not a chance, not a chance. I hate MVP. I think he's absolutely terrible. He beats Dilbert Burns. He beats Sean Brady. He might beat Leon. He gets smoked by JDM, Shavkat, Wondersoy, right? The Weasel was saying the exact opposite. He was like, oh, Sean Brady beats him. Gilbert Burns beats him. But, oh, he beats Wonderboy. He beats fucking, you know... Like, what are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about? Sean Brady and Gilbert Burns aren't good grapplers, and they have shit striking, dude. JDM beating Gilbert Burns means absolutely nothing, by the way. Has Ty Bet's been on live streaming? No, just a couple of videos. He only started, like, two weeks ago, I think. You unmodded Johan because he told you the truth? No, I didn't remember why I unmodded him. I think he was, like, banning people, I think. I don't remember. I mean, Beavers... It was good Hobbit Whitaker. MVP versus Leon, the Michael Chandler Jimmy, uh, let's fucking go. No, absolutely not. Yo, yo, idea, minty bats, me under the apex, uh, for some quick sex. <clears throat> yo, yo, I'm gonna lay down a beat. I'm a freestyle off this fucking shit. Uh, mm. Ooh, yeah, idea, minty bats, me under the apex, for some quick sex. Uh, yeah. On my way out, saw Nina drum about my backstrokes made her uh, call out like the call out to Dalai Lama. Oh, yeah. Nina drama. Ooh, yeah. Call my mama. Ooh, yeah. Dalai Lama. Ooh, yeah. Ronnie Yaya. Ooh, that was fire, dude. That was, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Ronnie Yaya. That's fucking fire. Oliver was scared of Rust. Uh, Michael Chandler. Why can't I donate to AJ's and all you? Oh, is AJ's? Did AJ's get fucking monetized? I didn't notice that. Did AJ's actually get monetized finally? He's at seven hundred too. That's fucking sick. Did he get monetized? UFC three hundred. Uh, he didn't. What are you? You're fucking lying to me here. You're lying to me and you're wasting my time. Time is buckaroos, buckaroo. You're wasting my time, Landon XXX. What's good, Landon, by the way, Landon XXX? Um, don't waste my time ever again. You can't donate to AJ's because I just checked. He has no super thanks, and super thanks is the same thing as fucking everything else. Don't waste my time. Pierre is a fellow Latina. Enjoy her, but he only talked about money and won't talk about real conservative issues like a 
and good. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I would vote for him. I would vote for him because he's a Latino enjoyer. <laughs> right? And the thing about those two things is, unfortunately, they are good for the economy. I think that's, those two things you're going to have to take some leeway with. You're going to have to take some leeway with. You cannot just outright ban them. You're going to have to take some leeway with both those things. Uh, whether fortunately or unfortunately, you're going to have to have a little bit of that. So that's also probably he doesn't want to get divided, too. So I don't know. I'm not Canadian. I don't have to vote for him. I'll vote, I'll vote for Donald Trump and Vivek Ramaswamy. I'll go Trump Vivek 2024. Okay? That's what I'll do. Unless Kanye runs, I'll vote Kanye. If Kanye runs, I'm voting Kanye 2024. I don't give a fuck. Mark Coleman is twice the mainland of gay sex. Is he saved his family, rescued his dog's corpse? Okay, don't fucking talk about that. Uh, let's not get fucking Debbie Downer shit here. But Mark Coleman is a fucking G, dude. Shouts out Mark Coleman. He's a fucking G. I see these videos too, and they're funny as fuck. Dudes could be in their own political debates and posting uh, his best comebacks of 2024. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Oh, Pierre uh, be running shit in those debates. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pierre, Pierre is whooping on. Uh, dude, I saw the one. I saw the one earlier today where he's like, he got um, he got uh, Trudeau to start yelling. He's like, wow, like it's actually very unprofessional. It's actually against like the you know the court ruling that you shouldn't you, like you can't be like yelling and getting like agitated or whatever <laughs> he's, dude, he's such a little fucking prick that's why i like him because i get his clips all the fucking time i'm not even canadian but he's such like he's just such like a little prick he just always knows he's like little fucking women little details and shit he's so annoying but that's what makes him hilarious i'll just really mogs igor i just checked he wasn't monetized i was like i was i was oh shoot he's monetized but he's not fucking waste my time here Pay everyone yeah we got El Salvador. This is uh, 50 feet away, uh, by the way, chat. What are you talking about? Under any pressure, you'd miss everything. No, that accuracy. Oh. I mean, you can see it in the fucking, um, in my video. That's that's the, uh, and I shot a crossbow. Easy. I'm the best crossbow. I have the best aim on crossbow in MMA YouTube. That accuracy is uh, terrible. I hope that was at least 40 yards out. Um, It was like 100 yards out, I think. It's like 100 yards out. Right? You yeah right you confirm that someone in chat somebody in chat confirmed that it was it was about a hundred yards out right somebody in chat confirmed that somebody somebody in uh, chat confirmed that it was like a hundred yards out <laughs> imagine when Mr. Ballin uh, makes a video called Evil Lurks in Arizona about a MMA tuber and a gun tuber who take a who take a little silly eagle out to the desert and gun it down okay who who is Mr. Ballin. I don't even know who that is, and that would never happen. It'd be, it'd be um, an MMA, an MMA tuber and a gun tuber t uh, take down a silly little Canuck into the um, uh, um, uh, Chad American desert, into the Chad American, into the Chad American mountains of Big Bear, and leave him out in the freezing cold. Leave him like fucking um, uh, Johnny in uh, fucking. The movie, dude. The fucking movie that everyone knows what I'm talking about. Everyone knows the movie I'm talking about. The Shining. Leave him like Johnny in The Shining, bro. Tie him up out there, actually. Right? Hey, what's your thoughts on Jed? Shit. <laughs> Don't make me fucking say some shit. What the fuck? Jed Mishu? What the fuck? Rants about MMA... And Arizona sports betting for what the fuck? I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the fuck? I just spit on my mic. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? It was on a new level of delusion. I'm the hey, Leonard XXX, you can say oh so inaccurate. You cannot deny that I'm the most accurate MA YouTuber right now. I'm the most accurate MA YouTuber on the fucking platform. You cannot deny that. Can you tell me uh, how to get Bell's cannon? I don't know what that is. Mr. Ballon and Sean Shirkin should spar. I need who the fuck is Mr. Ballon? That was like my fucking eighth grade fucking science teacher. You were the happy because you uh, thought it was American gravy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You fucker. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> um, UFC Moroccan is having like uh, UFC Saudi so we can be free of WMMA. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Actually, yes. Two of us versus Lucia should happen again under the fought. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it should be Tuivasa versus Mr. DeLima. Tuivasa versus Mr. DeLima. When I say do an impression, I mean read out the scenario and add to it. Impression of uh, Ngumbo hitting the snake lid after getting brained by AJ. Uh, 
and mumbling, I'm the baddest man on the planet. I'm the baddest man on the planet. <laughs> fucking, dude, fucking let me get a couple streams in before I start fucking thinking of impressions, dude. Um, and Gwanu, um, and, and Gumbo fucking hitting the stinky after, after getting brain. Uh, dude, the thing with Nganu impressions is he's just stupid. You just want me to act like a fucking retard. What do you want me to say? He doesn't say anything. What does Nganu say? I'm the I'm the baddest man on the planet. Uh, you know, uh, Joe Rogan, like, um, uh, like this boxing fight, like, this boxing fight, like, is, uh, you know, it just wasn't my night. You just want me to sound like a retard. Nganu doesn't even speak English. He speaks Nganu. Okay, it's his own language, dude. <laughs> impression of Nganu. There you go. There's my impression. You want to hear my impression of Nganu? I'm the baddest man on the planet. I'm the baddest man on the planet. That's my impression of Nganu. There you go. <laughs> give, me a, give me a racist Keith Peterson impression. Give me a racist Keith Peterson impression. <laughs> Confusing him as a future KBCO. <laughs> okay. There should be a 125 tournament. It should make them. It would make maybe make them interesting. 125 is one of the best fucking divisions out there. Shut the fuck. You, you want to make a gravy lake and make some women feed him fish sticks while he claps like a seal. Okay, that actually sounds nice. That actually. That actually sounds nice, dude. <laughs> that actually sounds nice. That actually sounds like a nice relaxing time. Let's go to Mike Flesher. Brazil is a dump, and those filthy animals suck. <clears throat> Brazil, you're a dump. All you filthy animals suck. I got one thing to say. Tyron Worthy. Um, if you don't open the front door, I'm gonna knock it in, and I'm gonna take what's mine, that world's away belt. Kobe's the goat, dude. I'm an Almighty, you little edge-maxing edge cretin. Uh, cause you're not an MMA YouTuber, right? Luis <laughs> is the best MMA YouTuber if he says someone won the fight, I agree with him. Guru tits. Tits. Okay. Yeah, lol, yeah. Stop hating on Brady. He's so bad, dude. He has no fucking striking. And his grappling is okay. Oh, he subbed Kelvin Gastelum at welterweight. Kelvin Gastelum's a natural 205 pounder. The fact that he's trying to drain himself of taquitos and burritos and tortas to drain himself down to 170 is loco. Kelvin Gastelum is loco for pretending he's not a two natural 215 pounder, depriving himself of tortas, red sauce, uh, taquitos, Burritos, tacos, torta, like, he's loco, okay? He's stupid and loco. El stupido. Yo, yo soy autismo, is what he is, right? He goes, soy, sell out the stream is entirely for entertainment purposes. <laughs> well, I have to put that, I have to put that. I put it in every single one of my things now because I want to make sure fucking everything's all good, dude. Because I just want to make sure everything's all good, blather. Just want to make sure everything's all good, brother. Surprise, surprise. Loso is part of the Brady bunch. Brady got chained by Bilal and couldn't take him down once. Yeah, Brady is terrible. He's legitimately terrible. Oh, dude, he beat Jake Matthews. Yo, he outstruck Jake Matthews, bro. He's a goat. He outstruck Jake Matthews and sub Kelvin Gastelum at 170. Dude, he's fucking amazing. Brady destroys him. Absolutely not. Probably lost him. No, not even fucking close. He has no chance. I never thought I'd just pass you and Calico. <laughs> Calico, what the? F <laughs> I got no beef with Calico, but I mean, let's be honest here. <laughs> I always pick Brady fights, uh, right? I pick Blaw to beat him. Yeah, because <laughs> he sucks. Banned on an XXX. Yeah, Brady's a top uh, 15 grappler grapher. There's so many better. Like Colby's a better grappler. There's fucking 12 people that are better at grappling than him. He's he's not he's not good. He's never gonna be anything. Uh, yeah, but, uh, a, B, C's, and G, A, G, A, D's aren't good for the economy, dummy. They're a population control. They are, but it's also stimulating the economy because there's so many stupid flipping idiots that it's like a short-term, it's like a short-term gratification for the economy. So it's, it's something you'll have to deal with for a little bit, but I think with progression, we can cut back on how fucking... How fucking... I don't I have to... F Listen, dude. I'm live streaming on the biggest platform on fucking Google here. I've got to choose my words carefully. I think... I think... 
That's what I think. Is I think. I'm a, I'm a big thinker here. <laughs> Armin would shove MVP in the locker, to be honest. <laughs> oh, my God. MVP would smoke Armin. Why would you uh, come on on BKFC? BKFC is like... Is it... Um, is it uh, Big Ben? Is it Big Ben on? <laughs> Which one even is it? Oh, Davis versus Wilson. Crazy fucking main event here. What's even on it? I'm checking right now. Maybe Florida. Yeah, there's nothing on it. What do you fucking want me to commentate? You want, to, you want me to commentate Rodriguez versus Franco, dude? What the fuck? I would be uh, CMVP and attack him just because he's black. He's lying for her, but he like why do you lie so much? What are you talking about? How do you land an next like a banana split? He wouldn't survive day one on the studio. Uh, studio set of Yellowstone. Hey, pause. Here we go. I use the old McDonald beat. I sent you. I'll do that. I'll do that in a, in a very a very close future sh uh, stream. What's good, Citizen Macar Papi? What's good, uh, MZM? What's good, your favorite fed? I see you, you uh, change your profile picture. I see you also. You post the try not to laugh video. I fucking looked at that. I'm like, what the hell is this? What was that video, Fed? What the fuck was that video? I, I, I only clicked on it and clicked to the middle of the fucking video. I had no idea what it was. It was like a trying to laugh, but it was just like, uh, like a, I don't even know what it was. It was a casual doesn't know Jed Mishu. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking, you know why? Because I'm not a beta male. I don't care about any of the UFC fucking news outlets, dude. Where you want me to fucking. <laughs> They give crossbows to peasants who never fought before in their life. Okay. I was shooting fucking... Okay. 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 I was shooting fucking 44s. Okay. I was shooting fucking... Um... Uh... Um... Other big, big guns. I was shooting big fucking guns. I was shooting a fucking shotgun. Okay? Shooting a big fucking home defense shotgun and shit. Shooting an AK. Dude. Go for it with the... Crossbows are silent and deadly. That's what Daryl... Hey. That's what Daryl Dixon had, and that's what he had the entirety of The Walking Dead, and he's still alive. Hey, all those people with big machine guns, duh, 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 they're all dead. Mr. Crossbow, Daryl Dixon, has his own spinoff now, because he's been alive for so long. Right? How far behind is he going to shower now? Fucking five minutes, dude. Fucking chill. Bro, is cool as fucking rooting for him. Joey's skinnier than Guru. They're like the same weight, and it's kind of crazy. Start freestyling and dancing right now. Oh, no. I might freestyle a little bit uh, if I catch up. I might have to. Mm, what time? Okay. Uh, do you have a big what? <laughs> God, okay. Would you rather look like Ariseg or Raul Rosas after plastic surgery? Raul Rosas Jr. because he's Mexican. Ariseg looks like a. Ariseg looks like a. I could just beat him up. Like, Raul Rosas Jr. is at least like a Mexican. He's got a giga chin. Right? I wish I could look like I could just fucking body him. I could just make him my bitch. Like, if Ersek was in prison, he'd be the first one to get bitched. If Ersek was in prison, he'd be the first to get bitched. 100%. 100%. A big Cory. Fury, what are you fucking quoting? W and Goombo per se impression. First time I've gone here trying to explain to his mom why Themba Garimbo got a free house, but he has to stay in Cameroon for another year. <laughs> oh, like, listen, like, it's just, uh... Not to like a uh, financial available, like I've got to like the money I get, to, like I have to like save it away, like it's like big money, and like uh, you know, I'm like the baddest man on the planet, and uh, <laughs> uh, why, why do Tamba Garimbo get the why do Tamba Garimbo get the free house, and I have to stay here in Cameroon with all these filthy animals. Listen, mother, like, it's, like, it's not a big deal, like, you love what you love to live here. Um, that's just not financially available, and, like, I just don't want you near me while I'm training, cause, like, it's gonna, it's gonna affect me being the baddest man in the blah, 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 blah. That's the, that's the impression, dude. Fucking crazy impression. I know, crazy fucking impression here of just me mumbling like a retard. Right, crazy impression. Do a Chris Tortilla impression right now, I don't know who that is. Joey has lost weight. Has he actually? We ain't translated tonight. Shout out Colby. Yes, dude. Fucking go. That's good citizen Makar Papi. Rigo impression of Ngobu uh, telling his siblings they can't come to America. Yeah, Rigo. It's, yes, Rigo. Fucking stuff with the Ngano impression. It's so fucking. It's a stupid. Kyle Kamali, to be honest. I bodied him. I bodied him. He, 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 he's streamed a couple times, right? Since his like retirement or whatever. 
Impression of Darkstar chasing Keith Peterson off his property because Keith Peterson keeps setting up a meeting. Keeps setting up meeting in front of the tallest tree in Darkstar's yard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Lil' Kobe sucks. He's so beatable. He's beatable, but he's not terrible. Like, let's not forget, he arguably beat Leon Edwards. He arguably beat Leon Edwards. <clears throat> also, Lasso, you need to go live right now because I, I need to get off. It's nearly 7.30. I got to go off. Like, I have to be totally off and ready to go at 7.45. So, it's a little bit of a quick stream. But I just want to get one in there because I've been on for a bit. I've been on for a bit. I will be live for a companion tomorrow for Tui Vasa versus, um, Tui Vasa versus, uh, Tibura. So, Lasso, get live right now. I'll throw you on my live viewers. <clears throat> Lasso. I do have to fucking get off. Um, and I might get a video out, too, on... Um, Jorge Masvidal versus Nate, Nate Diaz 2 in boxing. What the fuck are we doing here? I No one's even talked about that. Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal 2 in boxing? What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> what the fuck is up with that? Armin beats Colby. Absolutely not. Colby destroys Armin. Is almost ducking Armin. <laughs> no. Okay, everyone was saying Colby ran the division other uh, than Usman like two years ago. Low. Yeah, exactly, dude. Because he was. Dude, he was. How do you see Ben Watson? Did he need growing into a more well-rounded uh, future contender? I think, I was saying it before, I think he'll be like a top seven, go up and down, right? Maybe cap at like top four, top three. Maybe get a title shot, but lose probably. I think the lowest he'll go is like down to you know, 12 or whatever. But I think it's like the new Dan Hooker where he's like up and down, lose a couple, win three, lose one, win two, lose two, win one. Like, I think he's going to be a gatekeeper for the most part, but like a very good gatekeeper that you have to be like legit to be. Like, you have to be legit to be Benoit saint <clears throat> Right? Is the most little bitch who thinks his win over Armin is uh, is relevant? It is. It's the most relevant win in uh, MMA right now. No guy that call a video from Kobe was hard as fuck. Yeah, 44 is the man's caliber. Exactly. That's what I was shooting. That's what I was shooting. I was shooting a 44. I was shooting a... Um, I forgot what their fucking were, dude. I forgot their fucking word. That's probably one of the most important things. Um, 44. God, I forgot where the fucking were. But I, was shot, I shot like a 1911 Glock fucking Beretta. Some cool ass shit. AK fucking... Home defense shotgun, little fucking, little rifle, little twenty two. There was this twenty, fucking little twenty two, little pea shooter. Part of Eagle for finally taking the AK pill, bro. I've been, I've been a gun enjoyer. I've been a fucking gun enjoyer. Thoughts on loss? Why oh, loss all allows pedos like EBT and his minions to ruin his stream? Have they been going to lost soul streams? <laughs> Is he live yet? He needs to go live. Cause I need to get off. I don't want to. I don't want to leave all my precious viewers with nothing, bro. Have, have they actually been in a fucking Lost Soul stream? Lost Soul, by the way, go live Lost Soul, cause I'm getting it off very soon, like very very soon within the next fucking ten minutes here. Can someone confirm that? What were, were, were they in fucking Lost Soul stream, dude? <laughs> I want to. I want to. See if that's confirmed before I say anything. He needs to become a uh, mask off Joker mode. Black Bill Coomer. <laughs> Actually based Africans impression. Well, Africans are just fucking... <laughs> Dude, let's not pretend like Africans are some fucking geniuses over here. Like, even white South Africans, like Drickus Duplessis. I said it in my fucking video. Like, Drickus Duplessis is meant to be some big, brawlic, white, stupid idiot. Like, being African is being super athletic and just insanely jacked but regarded it's it's what it's what being african means dude jacked and stupid and hey that's pretty nice dude it's pretty nice all the depressed people are smarties right the book chris on yoni of vegas 7087 also why i mean it's on because there was a vid that i wanted to do about that but I was going to get a collab with a dude, and I just was like, nah, I don't want to collab with that dude. It was diehard fans. <laughs> diehard fans. That dude's funny, but it's just not... That would, like, hurt my channel if I collabed with him. Oh, that actually hurt my channel. Are you go with the Mew.
There we go. Just had to break my mewing streak for that. City Life is left for BKFC. Watch along. Okay. That's not really, like, I'd rather if Lost, I'd rather Lost Soul go live, because Lost Soul's more my community. Like, City, City Life is, is probably more your community. Lost Soul's more my community. Right? It's the same people, but it's more so, I think my community would enjoy Lost Soul more. I'll, I'll still throw it to City, uh, City Life if Lost Soul doesn't go live, but I think if Lost Soul goes live, it'd be very fucking nice for him. I think it'd be very good. Still fucking waiting on that little little idiot, little little stupid ad dummy, little stupid ad dummy. Eagle doesn't acknowledge city life. No, I do. He was commenting on my shit, dude. I just for, I forget about him. He was a failed version of Isha. <laughs> Lost Soul is a failed version of Regal. <laughs> In whole John and I said, "Where are my Mexicans at?" I'm pretty sure Lost Soul saying, "Where are my pedos at?" You know what I just saw? Mexican OT. Hey, was that that Mexican OT? It was that much no tea. It was just on the Joe Rogan experience. I just uploaded the f fucking six hours ago or something. I need to go watch that. See, that's the thing. Like, I don't watch Joe Rogan. I'm not going live. <sighs> Lost Soul, dude. This is a per this is legit a perfect opportunity for you. There's nobody live right now. I think Lucas has already been live. Guru's gay. This is a perfect opportunity for you to go live. Lost Soul, like legit. It's a perfect opportunity. What's good, Revelocity? Magnum. Yeah, yeah, Magnum. 44 Magnum. Merlin is obsessed with pedo talk. Yellow also stream got ruined by the EBT and that JR after XO creep. <laughs> what happened, dude? What happened? Someone told me, like, what happened. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Who's ex <laughs> We're all waiting for the for the, the big return. The big return of uh the, the wheelchair pedo. <laughs> We're all waiting for the big return. He keeps on fucking messaging me, too. I just got my Instagram back. Because I, I forgot my fucking password. Because it's some stupid shit. Because it's not my own personal password. It's something mixed in with fucking whatever. So I forgot it. And I didn't have it written down anywhere. So it took me fucking like 20 tries. And I just got it back. And I see he fucking keeps on messaging me. Through like my general chats. And shit. And he's fucking, um, he commented on my fucking video. And <laughs> like, oh, uh... What's his face? Uh, you know, is is winning or whatever? Like, oh, we're waiting for his big return, guys. He's been streaming. He's been streaming, bro. We're all waiting for his big return. His, his, yeah, his knockout, his fucking destruction of Eagle MMA and Rigo, bro. We've been waiting, right? He said he was gonna make a video about me like three months ago. <laughs> like, Oh my god. And you know it's you know it's this it's it's weird and it's gross because he has this like weird like he wants my attention like really badly. Like he craves my attention. It's weird at this point. I just checked uh before I got on stream. My video about him was four months ago. And it's still the only thing he thinks about. It's like, yo, nobody cares about you. You had your chance. Do your own thing. Listen, dude, listen, listen, listen. He's been outed. I'll fucking leave him to the side if he fucking chills. Fucking go do your own thing, dude. Nobody cares about you. Fuck off. Like, <laughs> seriously. Oh my god, you were funny for like a month. And you went full schizo because nobody has ever like taken you know liking to you. So it went to your head having four people think you're cool. Well. <laughs> Go fucking kick rocks, dude. Go take a hike. Also, let's pedo sympathizers ruin his chat. Was he like letting them? What was he like engaging with them? Yeah, it was brutal on the whole stream. Really? Also, you gotta explain yourself, brother. You gotta explain yourself, brother. Blah, blah, blah broke the streak. Lost Soil had his best stream two days ago. So, be good, look, look, let's wake him back on these snackies in Red 40. I mean, I mean, it's maybe like a pound or two. But yeah, you just heard Revelocity. I saw you messaged me like two weeks ago. I haven't had my fucking Instagram for like a week and a half. I fucking forgot my password. And it logged me out because I logged into my personal account on my computer. I don't... 
I have my personal accounts on my phone, my fucking ego MMA accounts on my computer. I logged in my personal on my It's fucking stupid. I'm just an idiot. Extension Super Rabbo. Ugh, fucking, I need to fucking get off soon. Yeah, soon. But I'll fucking stay a couple minutes for my boy. My my home, my big slice. Fucking Rebo. Rebo, you're gonna call Evil Pencil Neck. We're Mexican with DC Uncover one every uh whole bought up aliens or ghost lol. Probably because he's like Mexican as hell and he's really dealt with that shit, bro. He's probably dealt with that shit. Oh lost. Yeah, no, that dude was already modded. Oh, wait, what? Wheelchair Peter popped in and lost shot and shot it up at this possession video. Uh, yeah, I mean obviously. Yeah, Lasso, you just need to ban him, ban fucking Pib. You can tell Pib is the easiest one to <laughs> Pib and fucking wheelchair fucking whatever the fuck. They're the two easiest people to figure out if they're fucking alt accounts. It's legit so easy. You just need to ban them because they will shit up your stream. It's not even like, oh, I don't like them or whatever. They will shit up your stream. You'll just have fucking Pib typing about Rigo and, oh, I made fajitas today and, oh, I just went out and, um, I got groceries. I'll, I'm making this, um, this sauce right now. Nobody gives a fuck about that. And obviously that other fucking creep has been publicly added as a creeper, right? Creeper. Aw, oh, man, right? Not from Minecraft. Creeper, not from Minecraft. Um, and again, just obsessed. The only thing they'll talk about is Rigo, 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 Rigo. And your, your whole audience is Rigo. Like, you might have, like, three people that aren't Rigo, right? Your whole audience is Rigo. And it's like, everyone despises that dude because he's a fucking weirdo creeper. <laughs> Um, obsession with Rigo, Rigo banned him and lost soul. All modded Rigo and modded J Raptor. <laughs> Dude, didn't you learn? Yo, lost soul, didn't you learn the first um seven times you modded fucking J Raptor, dude? He fucking is gonna fuck with you as your mod, dude. <laughs> like, he's gonna fuck with you. He's gonna fucking just randomly ban people, randomly time people out and shit. You can't have a dude as a mod. If you've gonna gap, pull on you and you and you're a beta and you will never get a hot chick. That's facts, dude. I had a gun pulled right to my face, brother. It was actually a massive offer loss, I'm not gonna lie. That's why he's not streaming. The other dude was already modded. Why? Dude, I don't necessarily have anything against fucking Jay Raptor. He comes in my streams and shit. I haven't seen him say anything too fucking crazy. He gets a little homo erotic sometimes. But you can't have the dude as a fucking mod, dude. <laughs> like, you experienced it firsthand. It'll fuck up your stream. Lost you, they're trying to get. <laughs> they're trying to gaslight you, yeah. Uh, the guy who got his account banned and asked you to mod his all. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? He's so stupid. Uh, slander. Oh, good. You go reply when you can. It's nothing important. Yeah, I know. Well, I feel like a dick. I feel like a dick. Having to just fucking sit there. And there's a, a, a gnome too. I, there's gnome Audrey's. I think Lennon XXX sent me something. There's someone else too. Rebo's been working uh, hard all week. He's just a bit, uh, bit of content, relax and smoke too. Yeah, I need to fucking get off that. Dude. That's why Lost Soul needs to fucking go live. Also, you actually need to fucking go live, dude. You actually need to fucking go live, dude. You fucking fucker. You F and F, you need to go live, Lost Soul. He's doing the thing as mod low, I banned him, slander. Okay. I would be blessed if Pip ever busted my chin. No. <laughs> okay, what should we go? Uh, we're going to do some streams next week, too. Being more on my plate lately. Well, that's a good thing, though. That's a good thing, though. Yeah, you might have to miss some content, but you're making bank. You're making bank. You're getting good fucking shit done. Right? I obviously know. Because, listen, me and Revo last year besties. Me and Revo are besties. We fucking... We beat... Rebo's, me and Rebo, I'm in Rebo's DMs like the Navy's in my DMs, blather. Me and Rebo are trading DMs like me and the Navy are trading DMs, okay? Constant. They want me, okay? Let's not forget that. <laughs> Didn't, uh, he ban, like, all of your chat before on one of his ults? Yeah, he's done that, like, twice. He's done that, like, three times, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fucking... You know, you're wasting your bread. Think of the man who uh, shook his gut for two subs as a spine and will ban anyone. All he cares about is views. Well, listen, dude. Listen, listen, listen. After this card, dude. After this card, I'm going to make and break his channel. I'm going to make and break his channel. 
I mean, Blood is telling the truth. Yeah, <laughs> he has at least one chance, but he's good. River keep grinding, bro. Yeah, as mod. I still got a backup mod, uh, though. Glad to, glad to got the extra help. Matt W. Oh, Matt W. Nice, nice, nice. He's a good man, but you have to show him the ropes next time you're in chat. Yeah, show him the ropes of doing absolutely jack shit. And just fucking um, promoting the topology every once in a while, which is the perfect. This literally exactly what you're supposed to do as a mod. Lost Soul is truly lost. He's a lost soul, dude. For sure, for sure. We also hit 500 topology today. Another milestone, Matt. We go hit 500 on top of Audrey. Okay. 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 500. 500 on top of That's a good stat to know. Also, is really dumb though. He has Jay as his handler, uh, though he should make it far in the YouTube game. Yeah. Let's go, Rebo. Bro, my holes are full. We are going to be number one group soon. We have 10 times as followers members as you and my family. No. No. You're actually so. Yo, 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 yo. You were actually so wrong, and it's crazy. Yo, real, yo, Rigo. You're so wrong, and it's crazy. Here's, here's who I know. Here's who I know I'm going to pass Rigo in the next year. Because I can do basic math and he can't. What's 59 times 10? 590. 59 times 10 is 590. Blother, you do not even have close to 10 times. You don't even have close to 10 times. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Have you seen me uh, plug your topology to be honest? Just saying. Well, it's it pinned. It's the, the pinned link. And it's not going to get a ton of fucking people because I don't have a ton of people. Right, yours is always going to grow a lot faster and everything because you have fucking 12k subs. The fact that I have as many as I do with 600 is actually good. It's good. Right? <clears throat> Jay, possibly Mossad. No, but uh, I'm a guru's fucking Muslim. That's what he is. By, by the way, brother. Yes, brother. By the way, can I just say this? Can I just say this? Shouts out to Rigo for the fucking shorts, dude. I am a shorts appreciator. I fucking love the shorts, dude. It's such a grind. It's so easy. Like, they're so easy to make. <clears throat> it's basically just busy work. You just clip one thing, put something fucking under it, subtitles, one and done, bro. One and fucking done. It's so... Oh, because... <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> they might not get the craziest views of all time, but most of the views are new viewers. It's like, oh, it only gets 2K, uh, 2K views or whatever. But they're new viewers. But half of them are new viewers. And a quarter of those stay every single time. Like, that's how I built my channel. Obviously, Rigo fucking... <laughs> Rigo and the Ego helped a lot. But <clears throat> I got a ton of fucking... I got like half my subs from shorts. I got like a, th a quarter of my subs from that fucking... Um, th uh, Strongest women's MMA enjoyer. Just a short little fucking meme, dude. Shorts are how you build a fucking small channel because it is pumped so hard into the fucking algorithm. You need to pull in more uh, new people for my link dropping to be effective. Yeah, yeah. When I have fucking, what, six people in the fucking stream right now? Oh, it's 7.45 too. Fuck. God damn it. 7.45. Okay. Jay hates bagel boys and raggies. W. Shorts enjoyer. Rigo Showmaxing his own content is genius. What is really fucking smart? It takes maybe an hour. Maybe an hour to get those. Because mine are a little different. I think they probably take the same amount. Because mine is, I put like, you know, editing or whatever. He has to go actually find clips. I just record something that's literally like a minute long. Clip it into like 30 seconds. Clip. It's probably like the same amount. So it's like an hour to do those. It's not, It's not, I wouldn't say it's easy. But it's not hard. It's basically just busy work. And it's very fucking good for your channel. Especially when you do something rev relevant. Like, Rigo, when, um, do it after the cards. After the cards is the best time. Just do it referencing the main event. Clipping yourself something about the main event. Like, oh, two of us is a man and pick or whatever. And talking about him versus whatever. Also, putting a clip, right? You're, I'm not going to tell you what to do, actually. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Because you're actually doing a great job with the shorts. You understand. You finally, you finally understand the shorts game. Like, 
Those, like, edits through the shorts, they're good. The edits are good, but they're not shorts content. Shorts content is not supposed to be, like, quality content. It's algorithm content. You have to get in. The first three seconds are absolutely crucial. Long-form video, it's your first 20. Short-form, it's your first three. And if you really think about it, it's your first one and a half. Something needs to immediately be engaging. Something... That's why if you look at my shorts, they all have the same format. Start out with the animation, sound effect, and immediately go into a clip. Immediately go into a clip on whatever is relevant right then. Right? I think the lowest one I had was like 1.7, 1.8K views on one, uh, something, which is still good for short. W Shorts enjoy, yeah. I believe a blather. Because I've been uh, seeing random channels go from like 50K to 500K subs in a couple of months. Now. Right, it's it's very good for sub count, right? It's very good for new viewers. The main thing is new viewers, right? New viewers at this po at that point, that's when you need new viewers. You have your dedicated fan base. Now you need the more general, casual audience, because that it pushes the shorts get pushed. You fucking everyone. Like my shorts, like fifty percent of my shorts watchers are fifty to sixty five plus. Like I can pull up the fucking stat. Like, 15% of my shorts viewers are elderly. <laughs> like, it fucking gets everyone, dude. I'm going to pass group by the end of the year. using Roy DuPont shorts max or method. Dude, Roy DuPont. Royce, it's Royce DuPont. First of all, casual. 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 You're not even. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense that you call him Roy DuPont and you tip your waiters and your DoorDash drivers. <laughs> Calls him Roy DuPont and tips his DoorDash drivers. Makes sense. I'll just say that. I'll just say that. It makes sense. Right? Makes sense. It's, it's Roy DuPont and um, Brian Bishop. Roy DuPont and Brian Bishop. The the most dynamic duo. I'm Roy DuPont. Rigo's like Brian Bishop. I'm obviously the more popular one. The more fucking... More views, more engagement, funnier, better at everything basically. But he's okay, I guess. Brian Bishop's okay. Rigo's okay, I guess. I'm backing them better. Landon Pro Shorts maxing. Has Landon, I heard Landon XXX has been posting some shorts too. Landon X. He's been posting some shorts, right? Sig fanboys, what the fuck? March 13th. Yeah, he's been posting shit. Jay, we said you back. Welcome back. The next is just LARPing as shorts, Max. Sure, hey, what's up, Eagle? What's good, Andrew Bichesne? What's good? The go. Your content sucks, RJ, with a big uh, McDonald's phone past you. Well, because he's consistent with his content. It, the fact that I've been so inconsistent with content, and I'm still even close to him, is, is insane. I was testing as part of the Royce DuPont <laughs> method. You know what? That's factual information. That's factual information being spit from this particular individual. That's factual information being spit from this particular individual. Uh, did you want that I subscribed a lot, so I'm done with him? Rigo, how are you doing? Can confirm I'm an avid Eagle May uh, short watcher and I'm 78. Post beak break Ortega. That's a fucking. That's a Chad fucking username. That's a Chad fucking username. Brian Bishop is, uh, has a trending video with millions of views. AI Joe Rogan. He's so yeah. I've seen that one. I've seen that one. The drug addiction. I purposefully. I purposefully got addicted to meth, dude. I I've been subscribed to Entrepreneur for so long too. Like pretty much since they fucking started. Um, since they started their fucking channel, for like maybe a month after they started their fucking channel, I've been subscribed to them because Royce Dupont is so fucking hilarious, dude. Uh, yeah, with AI Dragon, he's actually more viral than Royce. No, no, Royce Dupont has Brian Bishop has his one has one video that's good, dude. Brian Bish Brian Bishop has one. Royce Dupont has like twelve that are as big, brother. Chill, cool your fucking horses, brother. Double got Floyd Wayne, praying at the wall. I don't know what that means. She was short scared in your pre stream routine, like uh. What needs to be done before Eager May can go live? It could be used as an intro on your videos to advertise your live streams. It'd be funny like, won't it? Just good in your pre stream routine. Like, what needs to be done before Eager May can go live? Wait, what? I'm fucking gay and autistic. Am I just stupid? I'm gonna read these other chats first. I'm gonna try to. If you explain that a little more, Red Velocity. Cause I have an idea, but I don't. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm thinking of the same thing that you're thinking of. 
just because the way that's worded and the way I'm fucking gay and autistic. Plus, Big Vegas is such a base name. It's fucking Sigma as hell, dude. Only real chads have that fucking name. Andrew had no idea. I care to go into depth about it. Rigo, do not tell Lost Soul for his weed live streams. What? Lost Soul smoking ganja on his live streams? Are you fucking serious? All those Almost Friday guys are pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I like the Will guy the most and the curly haired ginger. Yeah. Lost Soul and MA YouTube. Yeah, what do you mean by that, Rebel Lost? Short skin in your pre stream routine. I don't know what the fuck it means. Oh, okay, okay. Oh shit. Okay. I was I was just okay, that was me. I was reading it the wrong way. I was like, why would I like I don't have a pre stream routine? I thought I thought you telling me like what I should do before I start my streams. No, I get your saying though. Make a skit on that. Well here's the thing, Rebel Austin. Here's the thing. I've been talking about how I'm gonna incorporate skits. For a long fucking time. And I've been thinking about more and more. Because there's been a couple ideas floating around. In Eagle and May's fucking little hive mind here. Right? Eagle May's little hive mind here. And I'm going to do that very soon. I'm going to do that very fucking soon. And that is a good idea. That is a good idea. My pre-stream routine. That is a very good idea. And I'm, I'm like 75% chance I'll use that specifically. But like it. 85% chance I'm going to just do like a skit in general. Thank you for reminding me about that. Because that's something I have been thinking a little bit more about is incorporating more skits. Because I like doing fucking skits and shit. That's what I fucking grew up doing. Skits. Nobody put that in. It's okay. <laughs> you, well, we can never bring up and go and ask you for locations again after what happened. We can never. We should start a skit group like almost Friday with all Jason. No. Rigo. Rigo. Hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Rigo. Have I not been basically... Have I not been basically campaigning for that the entirety of my MMA YouTube career? Why do you think... Why do you think I've been campaigning for an MMA content house? What, do you what kind of content do you think we'd make at an MMA content house? Oh, we're just doing, um, companions... Collaboration companions. Blather, I've been, I've literally, I think in my first stream, in my second stream, I've been talking about doing MMA skits, Blather. I would absolutely do that. I would absolutely effing do that. Okay? If you're being serious, let me know because it's something I've been thinking about for 12 fucking years. Okay? I need my water. I need my fucking water. My content house is gonna be lit. Yeah. Anyone, if you want to say something, I'm a lost soul fan to the end, unfortunately. If you want to say something, say it now, cause I'm getting off right now. I'm I'm already late. I'm already late. So if you want to say something, say it right now, cause I'm getting off in like 30 seconds. Bunch of my YouTubers talking shit about each other uh, on camera, different rooms. Lol. Yeah, I mean that'd be fucking hilarious, dude. It would for real be so funny and make such great content. Just like midstream. Midstream, two people streaming at the same time. Midstream, you just go in and fucking pie them. You just cream pie them. Uh, like the pie, you pie their face, okay? Okay. Like someone. Someone donates you like ten dollars. Oh, go pie Rigo. Go pie Law. Go give Law Soul a fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Give Law Soul an atomic wedgie. You guys are both live. You go in while he's live. Give him an, an atomic wedgie. Shit like that, bro. It'd be so funny. It would actually be hilarious. It would actually be hilarious. It would actually be hilarious. Like for real. Rigo, you need to move to Cali and become a Cali Chad blather. It's time. Is also going to be at the Content House. He, sh I mean, I think he's in California. I th if he's in California, then absolutely. If he's in California, then absolutely. Because it just be, it's be such good content. But he's not even like a big MA YouTuber. He's got like 170 subs, but he could be like the little fucking runt of the group. Little fucking runt of the group. 
right? But that'd be hilarious for fucking God. He'd be like the neon. Lasso would be like the neon. I would be, um, I would be Aiden Ross. Big Bill's money, the most funny, whatever. Rigo would be Sneeko. Like, tall, lanky, gay. Canadian. It's the same thing. Um, Gnome would be uh, speed. I show speed. Just insane. And um, Lost Soul would be neon. And we all just bully him for content. It would actually be so funny. And it would blow up his channel. He would get to like 500 subs in like 2-3 days. For real. It's also going to be the content house. Yeah, if he's in Cali, then absolutely. I do a funny skit of you showing off your pre-stream routine. Use that as your intro to videos, advertise your live streams. It could be a funny way to pull in uh, more new viewers. Here's the thing about Velocity. Here's the thing about Velocity. Here's the thing about Velocity. I think if... For, I, have a, I have a video that's been planned literally since I started this channel for when I hit 1K subs. And that's part of it. That's part of it. That's what I was thinking of. I've, I've talked about it on stream. I've talked about it on stream. And it's a secret. Anyone who remembers that stream, it's a secret. It's a video that I've been planning literally since I started my channel for 1K subs. Um, I shared, like, part of the script for it. I already have, like, a script, like, 75% written. And, like, fucking, what, like, pretty much fully thought out. Um, that's part of it. And I actually will, I will do that, uh, Revelos. I will do that. I think I called you Lost Soul or something. But I absolutely will do that because... That's something I've been thinking about. That's something I've, I've already been planning to put in another video that I'm putting out hopefully um, technically next week after this card, right? Eh, maybe, maybe not that one. Now that I think about it. But it's something I've been thinking about a lot more, and I absolutely will do that. Absolutely will do that. Because I kind of already used to advertise my streams, and that did help with the fucking uh, viewers. Also drinks more water than you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I would see that would be happening. It was stream now. Hey, yo. Three people catch uh, Joey Raid in the fridge at midnight. And Bam Margera him like he does to his dad. Lol, okay. Pause, bro. You said you should creep on. Okay, you. Okay, okay. We all. We all know what I meant. 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 I meant like the pie, like the pastry, cream pie, the pizza fucking pie. Okay. If you take that in the. If you take that the wrong way, you're gay. Okay, how about that? Brother E.U., you have that I feel you. You feel cream pie and fools. Yo, yo, Rico just said he feels he feels me cream pie and fools. What you talking about, bro? Brother, ew, you're homosexual. You're talking to Rico here, giving pies for cash, yeah. Let's do it, I'm in for that. Yeah, so I'm going to just find these also on the side. Yeah, let's just give him, just fucking, just flicking him. <laughs> He's just standing next to me, just flick his ear, just give him wet willies and shit. Lost going to be the, okay, that's, Lawson would eat a flying knee. No, he would eat it. He would absolutely eat it. <laughs> he said he had a good chance to beat you up, uh, Rigo up. Here's the thing. Dude, here's the thing is we could test that and that would go viral. Dude, we could test that and that would go viral. That's like 10K views. That's like 10K views, dude. That's two days ago. Lawson would be like, wait, is he trolling? I didn't think I was there for that, but it's been a while, though. Yeah, you were there, Revelocity. There was, like, a couple people there. You, mean, you keep that hush-hush, because hush, Rigo's in chat. Don't want him to take that, because that's a legitimately viral video that I've been waiting to put out for 1K subs. I've been waiting for 1K subs to put that out. We can do Matan-type interviews. I love Matan. Matan Evanoff. Matan Evan. Whatever his name is. Matan Evan. He's so fucking funny, dude. He interviewed Jamal Hill, by the way. If you haven't watched that, Matan Evan interviewed Jamal Hill. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, where you, uh, we get Minty Benson into a windowless room and have someone hiding under the table. Me, and then you start asking, have you seen Alexis Grasso's toes? And I start, s okay. How about this? How about this? Um, Mockton type interviews where we get Minty Benson in a windowless room and tie her down, chain her up, and tickle her stummy until she gives us the betting lines for Arisek versus Pantoja. How about that? <laughs> Who the fuck is Arisek, by the way? No clue. No, it's the spider as big as the doors. The spiders are as big as the doors. I've heard that somewhere. Where is that from? Oh, that, that, that's Matan. That's Matan. The spiders. I heard the spiders are as big as the doors. 
the the spiders are as big as the doors. That's fucking. That's classic Matan. Classic Matan. Right there. That's classic Matan. With the fucking Aussie dude. We go. Fairly new Australian got a KO last fight. No. Miko sleeps Jamal Hill. Eagle, you have to mute to reset the energy because that was KSL. Well, I need to get off. I'm already fucking 15 minutes late. Uh, he doesn't like spiders, so let's get one Drugola spider. Right, oops, sorry, Rigo. Don't apologize to Rigo ever. Imagine Rigo and immediately starts. Imagine Rigo immediately starts tossing Lasso around like his little brother and make him slap himself with his own. Yo, 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 yo. This is what I would do to Lasso. This is what I would do to Lasso. This is. Okay, this is what I would do to Lasso. We'd just be chilling, eating breakfast. He's, he's munching on some Lucky Charms. He's munching on some Lucky Charms. I go... I'm scrolling through my phone, scrolling through the news. I go... So, no way. Yo, Lost Soul. Lo, yo, LS. Because we're boys, right? Call him LS, right? LS, have you seen this, bro? It says... Yo, yo, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It says... If your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. If your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. My, mine's not bigger than my face. What about yours? I go like this. He smack his hand! Oldest trick in the book. Oldest trick in the book. Yo, if your face, if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. And then you just fucking smack him. Oh my god, dude. I used to do that so much, dude. I would do it to, like, the same person, like, five times in a fucking row, dude. Yo, did you know? Yo, this is crazy. Did you know that if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer? <laughs> you smack their fucking hand, dude. Oh my god. I just got reminded of that the other day from... I forgot what it was, but holy shit. That made me laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> Yo, would you know if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer? Oh my god. No chance should pull up to MMA gyms and call out their toughest fighters and knock them all out on stream. Imagine play fighting with Minty Betts, you start tickling and she starts scream laughing for you to stop and she pee. Hey, <laughs> all over the bed. They're gonna say, I love you, babe, and then kiss. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a good time to fucking wrap it up. No chance could be the new Charlie Z. Who's that? Charlie Z is a fearless warrior. I don't even know who that is. We would tell Minty to key if she farted on the other room and he heard her. I just will be part of it. Uh, uh, so as Isha City Life, just boys being boys. Well, I'd probably yell at her, uh, but I wouldn't say that. I'd probably smack her. If Minty Betts farted in, in, even in in my house, I'd fucking smack the shit out of her. I'm joking. That was a joke. I'm joking. That was a joke. I'm joking here. I'm joking. I'm joking. Community guidelines. I'm joking. It was a prank. Were you a cup and dog? Uh, you would tell her to have to leave and break up with her. That's kind of what you need to do, though. Put her in her place. If you're a woman, how fucking dare you fart in front of a man? Let alone in a man's house, dude. It's my fucking place of worship here. Can't get your stinky little fucking toots in here. Your stinky little gas bubble. Alright, but I'm already late. I'm already late. Uh, how long was it? Two hours. We hit the two hours, so that's decent, right? It's pretty good. I'll be live tomorrow for a companion. I'll start at the... Ugh, what is the first fight? Please don't be women's fights. God! Please do not be fucking many women's fights on this card. I can't stand it. I actually can't stand it. God, after this, after this, it's Rebus versus Nami Yunus, Blanchfield versus Fiora, then Allen versus Curtis 2. Which I think is a decent card. Well, let me look at this real quick. Allen versus Curtis 2. Oh, no. Oh, and that's Trevor Peak. Never mind. Never mind. Trevor Peak is on the card. So, um. And Norma Dumont. Norma Dumont and Trevor Peak on the same fucking card. Allen versus Curtis 2 is a goaded card. Two of us versus Tagura. Um. What is it? Sorry. Okay, it actually starts good. It actually starts good. Oh my god, Corey McKenna, though? Fuck. But I have to go live. It's Brian Battle. Kennedy News of Truth is going to murder OSP. Christian Rodriguez is going to probably beat Isaac Dolgarian. Women's Fight. Panny I don't even know who Panny Kianza is. It sounds like a fake name. 
GM3 versus Barbarina, two fucking retards. Nathan Levy, Israel's Great Hope. Uh, Jafel Fihol versus Odie Osborne, that should be decent. Josh Gulibau versus Danny Silver, that should be decent. Jacqueline Omorum versus Corey McKenna. Corey McKenna is going to make that a fucking terrible fight. But Tiago Moises versus Mitch Ramirez, that should be good. And Shamar Shamar Lolo 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 What the fuck is that name? Versus Chad and Helliger should be decent, I think. Um, I don't know. Uh, Eagle, have you heard of this guy? Uh, I have this game called I Want to Be the Guy. You should try it out. We heard of this bunker deal. I bet you quit in five minutes. Uh, try it out. You get some free time. Nah. Uh, you know what I've been doing? You know what I've been, you know what I've been doing, Revelocity? I've been grinding rainbow six i've been grinding rainbow six siege because i've been able to just put like one or two fucking games and god bless you eagle your light in the dark haven't made youtube yet i know you don't have to tell me twice buenas noches eaglecito yeah buenas noches marlincito um i've been grinding the fuck out of rainbow six siege grinding the fuck out of rainbow six siege i made deimos fucking enjoyer deimos enjoyer fucking doke abby who else do I run? I've been running um I've been running a lot of Oryx and shit, dude. I've been loving the fuck out of some Rainbow Six Siege. Type a fucking six in chat if you're a Rainbow Six Siege. Or probably zero because it's a such a sweaty tryhard game. But I've been fucking loving some Rainbow Six Siege. But Eagle's gonna call it quits. Ugh. Ugh. I can't wait to siphon some mana tomorrow. Can't wait to siphon some mana tomorrow. But Eagle's gonna call it quits. Thank you all for watching. I have a video out the most obese UFC UFC fighters that are obese. Go check that shit out. It's a pretty decent video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you do, do you disagree? Let me know down below. Thank you all for watching.